What is up? What is up? Everybody, we are live. Live. Welcome to another Origin PC live build. Today we're building a PC for my man MS Tech. Guys, if you don't know who MS Tech is, please check out his YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube is youtube.com slash user slash MS Tech Central. Make sure to check him out. Awesome, awesome content from this awesome, awesome dude. Today we're putting together a PC, uh, which he will be doing a review of on his channel. So we're very excited to get this ball rolling. It's a fully liquid cooled Genesis. I don't think we've actually done a fully liquid cooled PC. No, not fully liquid cooled. Right? CPU nope. and GPU. This will be a first. So this is pretty cool. My name is Koozie. That is at L on Twitter and Twitch. Joined as always by my man John Tifford. That's at J O N T I F F O R D on Instagram. Make sure to shoot him a follow. Thank you guys for joining us today. A little bit about the Origin PC channel for all you first timers here. If you have something to say in chat, make sure to tag at Origin PC so I see it all nice and bright in chat. There's an echo. Why is there, why is there always an echo? We, we even tested this beforehand. It's impossible that there's an echo. I don't believe it. John, can you mute up real quick? Just in case. Let me know when you're muted. Good? Cool. All right, so there we go. Sorry about that, folks. No matter how many tests you do beforehand, no matter how many, let me tell you, I did like 10. We adjusted the volume a million times on that headset. Uh, it's crazy. Build is starting right now, buddy. Coldburn, how you doing, my man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you guys for tuning in. So a little bit about the Origin PC channel. Uh, if you want to say something in chat, tag at Origin PC so I see it. Um, and I will try to answer all the questions. Please read this out. There you go, Shark Slayer. Even though you didn't tag at Origin PC, as I stated, you still got that there. 100% um, of our proceeds here on this channel go directly to St. Jude, whether it be from subscriptions or donations. You're never, ever required to do so, but know that if you do, it's going to a good cause. A uh, little bit about what we have going on. A little bit about our April promo. Uh, turn your tax refund into an epic upgrade if you purchase any select desktop or select 10 series Eon laptop. You get a free 850-250 gigabyte Evo SSD, free digital copy of For Honor or Ghost Recon Wildlands with select NVIDIA GPUs. <coughs> My third saw messed up. Free digital Steam key for Shroud of the Avatar, free $100 try on Worlds in-game credit, free digital copy of Halo Wars 2, Euro Truck Simulator 2, and Dreadnought in-game credit with select Intel CPUs. Um, if you guys have not been paying attention to our social media feed or our website, we have launched an incredible, incredible new laptop, our Eon 15S. So what's so special about the Eon 15S? Um, it's got a 1050 Ti. It's less than an inch thick, around four pounds. It could have up to a 7700 HQ, um, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, up to three different storage drives, if I'm not mistaken, and it starts at $999. This is a very entry-level laptop. It's something we haven't done before, so we're very, very excited to bring this entry-level piece of hardware for you guys. It's, it's an awesome, awesome piece of machinery. If you guys tune in tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a, bill, uh, a stream just about this laptop. Um, we're going to be benchmarking it, we're going to be unboxing one, we're going to be showing it off, talking about it, gaming on it, doing a little bit of VR. I'm going to have our CEO come in, our uh, mobile uh, product manager come in and talk about it. It's going to be a really, really exciting event. So join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. But if you're thinking to yourself, uh, a koozie, 999 is still too much for me, I can't afford one. Well, good news, guys, we are giving one away. How do you like that? How do you like that transition? Pretty sweet, right? We're giving away one of these brand new Eon 15S laptops to celebrate the launch of the laptop. You can go right now to originpc.com slash giveaway. Sign up to win. All you have to do is follow most of the channels that you're probably already following, so it's not, not really much more. What is St. Jude? So St. Jude is a children's hospital um, where they do a lot of research on uh, cancer and other various diseases uh, for kids. It's an awesome hospital where the families, the families that have their kids there have to pay absolutely nothing. The kids get housed there, fed there, and treated for an absolute zero cost to the family. So you can imagine how much money it takes to keep a facility like that running. Um, so that's why all our subscriptions and donations go directly to them. You know, we like to, we like to give back a little. 
Uh, so thanks again for tuning in. So we're going to have MS Tech joining us on Discord. Let's see if he is here and ready. Chat him up for a little bit. And John. Oh, wait. Before we do that, jeez. Let me go into the specs. The moment you've all been waiting for. You guys can actually... Ha <laughs> yes! Thank you so much, Nathan, for the subscription. My man, thank you so much. Uh, can we get a hashtag for the kids in chat, please? Thank you so much for supporting the kids of St. Jude, man. Much appreciated. Let's go into the specs, shall we? Uh, so we're building a Genesis, fully liquid cool Genesis today. Interior color will be white, as you can see from the video. Uh, standard orientation, fully liquid cooled. Close that. 850 watt EVGA Supernova G3 will be powering the whole thing. White individually sleeved EVGA power cables. Big thank you to EVGA for supporting us with that power supply. An Asus Maximus IX Hero motherboard. Asus, the motherboard maker of all motherboard makers. Really excited to pop that pupper in. Uh, 16x Blu-ray drive. For those that don't know what optical drives are, uh, they were around before the invention of the internet. When people actually watched movies and installed things using an optical drive, there's just like silver, this <laughs> a silver circular disc frisbee type thing that you put into this, and that silver circular disc has stuff like movies and games on it. It's a really really cool old feature that we're bringing back here for you, here for you guys. Intel Core i7 7700K, Intel's quad core the gaming CPU, one of my favorite CPUs on the market. KB Lake stuff. A dual 12 gigabyte NVIDIA Titan X Pascals. For the Titan XPs. Already, we already got the water blocks on them. So we're pretty, pretty amped to put that in there. Uh, 32 gigabytes of HyperX RAM. Thank you, Swift Tech, by the way, for the sh for the the blocks for those GPUs. Big thanks to Swift Tech, man. They do a lot of stuff for us. They supply most of our liquid cooling stuff. Can you show off that block again? Look at the look at the custom quality that Swift Tech makes for these blocks. Big thank you to Swift Tech. If you guys ever need any liquid cooling units, Swift Tech is the company to go to. Look, they custom made this for us. It's beautiful. It's got a logo on the side. They're very fancy. Uh, the 32 gigabytes of HyperX RAM, 250 gigabyte Samsung 960 Evo NVMe M.2 times two. Uh, six terabyte Western Digital red hard drive as the backup storage drive. Windows 10 Home, our wooden crate armor, and our warranty. And now, now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's bring in our boy MS Tech. Western. Western. Hello, hello. What's up? What's up? What's going on, dude? Not, Not much. much. Says beyond. 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 Good man. Good. Good to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Absolutely. So you saw the specs already. Pretty exciting, huh? Hand on the thing. thing. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty beast beast PC. <laughs> um, we're really really excited to bring it. Why is there is there an echo? Did you unmute? Um, I here. Let me yeah, plug in some headphones, headphones and see if that helps. helps. Sure. I don't know why there would be an. I don't hear an echo on my end. Holy Echo? <laughs> what? I swear, no matter how many times you test audio issues, MS Tech has a lot of Echo. I'm uh, now, I'm with, now the with the headphones. headphones. That helps. That helps. Oh, I, hear, I hear you perfectly. Teamwork. Intellectual G, thank you so much for the subscription. Hashtag for the kids. Hashtag for the kids. Um, so, can you guys hear him all right now? It's not you, Tim. Echo still? Hmm. Hmm. Why would that be? On a scale of one to what the hell's going on? Let's see. Let me try to figure it out on my end. You're saying mm -hmm. it's not me, but it shouldn't be you either. Echo still, echo still. Let me try to let me try to drag you out and drag you back in real quick. Sorry about that, folks. You guys hear the echo on my end, or is it more on his end? Need help with OBS? I'm actually using XSplit. And it's funny because we I had two different of our guys jump on Discord with me. And I recorded them. And it came out flawless. 
His his end. Oh, okay, just him talking. Let me see you drag you in again. You try that one more time. Oh, oh. Let's, Let's see, see how, how, it, how works. it works. How we doing? Uh, uh. Hmm. Still, man, this is a bummer. Um, let's figure something else out. Give me one second, all right? I'll drag you back in in a sec. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Sorry about that, folks. I have no idea why after all these tests we're still having problems. Um, so as you can, John's setting up the the radiators right now. The radiators, for those of you that know anything about liquid cooling or what keep the liquid the the liquid what keeps the liquid cool. Um, he's doing a custom loop. John, you want to explain a little bit about the loop? Okay. As of right now, this is going to be the bottom portion of the case. Um, this is the expansion. So whenever you get anything water-cooled from us, if you order the expansion part, this is going to be the bottom part holding two 360s. And then these tubes are going to go into the upper part, which is back here. You're going to see me struggling with that in a little bit. And it's basically going to come out of the res. Well out of here into a res and then that's going to push it through the CPU. I'll show you more of that later once it's a better visual but uh, as of right now I have the six fans set up, three on each 360 and that should keep the system more than cool for our, almost anything you bring to it, especially with these Titan X's. And I'm out. Alright, meet up again. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, it's looking, it's looking sweet already. So we, obviously we did a little bit of prep work for this. Uh, these take a lot of time to build, and we only have a few hours. Um, so we did a little bit of prep work already, but for the most part, you guys are going to get to see how the whole thing gets built. Um, we're pretty excited. So as you can see, he's got the bottom bay right now. Um, this is going to be our Genesis case, which looks exactly like our Millennium case, except it's got this sweet expansion on the bottom. And this can either fit the two radiators that you see here. We can also add hard drive bays that would be able to fit multiple hard drives inside of it. Uh, for this case, of course, since we're going liquid cooled, we're going to have to do the radiators. Shout people out, please. Shark Slayer, I think I've shouted you out like two times already. I love your enthusiasm, bud. Where's mine? What's up, Evil? How you doing, buddy? Going to be working on paper while I'm here. Sweet, man. I think it's about 7K. Uh, yeah, the PC is about 7K. PC is about 7K. Uh, we're trying to figure out what's going on on MS Tech's end with the audio. Hmm. He seems to have left chat, but hopefully he'll come into Twitch and join us here. Tommy, what's going on, bud? Shout out, pretty please. I love how you guys love shout out. Hard Drive Bay, am I right? What's up, DD Bleak, my man? Very nice build, yes. Very nice build indeed. All right, let's try this one more time. I'm going to try to bring him in one more time. Here we go. Phone. Phone. Hey, dude. <laughs> Is it any Is better? better? I mean, it sounded good on my end both times, so we'll see what when chat starts yelling at us. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's when we'll really know. Are you in the Twitch <laughs> chat right now? Yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. So you'll see yeah, when people yeah. start yelling. Echo, echo, yep. All right, it's happening. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm still trying to figure it out. No problem, no problem, no problem. problem. Oh, man, I've never had this issue when someone comes on Discord before. Let's see what we got going on on Facebook. By the way, we are live on Facebook as well. Hello to our Facebook people. Thank you guys for joining us today. You know what I think it might be? Let me see something. I think I just figured this out. I'm going to disconnect your, uh, your headphone real quick, John John. Let's see if this works. Ah, yes. Team <laughs> ah, yes. Scott, my man with the sub. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. As always, much love, dude. All right. Let's try this again. Hello? How we doing? I think, I think this might work, but we're going to find out now. I hope so. Better, oh, way better. Oh, go. yes, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. All right, dude. Yes, finally. Sweet. 
So, man, thank you so much for... What, what should I call you? Is MS Tech okay? Or, or, what do you Matt. Prefer? Matt is good. Matt's good? Okay, cool. Yeah. Matt, my man, thank you so much for joining us on the build today. Um, Absolutely. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about your channel, if you don't mind, what your channel's all about. People in the chat will know. Uh, right now, I'm mainly in the setup field, so uh, I do a lot of stuff on mechanical keyboards. It's kind of my niche. Uh, but then setups in general, accessories, peripherals, uh, different ways to improve your setup. It's uh, it's big right now. But throughout the throughout the years on the channel, it's really just been on all different types of consumer electronics, phones, computers, laptops, tablets, uh, setup stuff. And honestly, anything that really comes across my desk or email that looks interesting, I usually want to uh, share that off with the fans. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's the channel. Sweet, man. How long have you been doing it? It's been about three and a half years now, I want to say. Wow. Uh, for the first two years, I, I did every single thing on my own. 100 videos. I was pretty much done with editing videos, so I brought on a buddy to start editing them. And then about a year, year and a half later, uh, he switched from editor to just kind of an associate um, with more like business oriented roles. And then we got a new editor that's a like an actual like dedicated video editor that studies video editing. And he's been doing it for the last three three months or so. And his videos and his editing is just really, really phenomenal. That's sweet. When you when you started it off, when you started it off, I'm sure it was just a hobby back then, right? Did you have it in oh, yeah. mind? Did you have in mind like I'm gonna make this into a, a massive uh, channel? I wanna grow, I wanna make this like a full time gig. I was always interested in, I was always a consumer of YouTube originally, a very heavy consumer, so I knew it was a possibility. And like every, you know, thirteen year old gamer, I <laughs> wanted to have a Call of Duty channel. Uh, and actually my first channel ever was a magic trick channel that still exists on YouTube. No way. I did card tricks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> and that that's that was fun. Um, so I guess Probably some co subconsciously when I started the channel, uh, I had some plans for it, uh, but I never was like, I'm going to start this, I'm going to grow it, it's going to reach this point. At that point, it was, ironically, it started off with gaming PCs and part lists. Right. Um, and then it shifted away from that a little bit because, you know, you need a lot more money to be able to yeah. actually do that type of channel. Um, have you, have you that, done anything on that Magic channel? <laughs> anything else? Oh, the Magic <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I'm a little afraid to share the name of the magic <laughs> channel, but I will actually. Uh, it is Airshot Eleven, A I R S H O T. Wow, you heard it here first. Very interested folks. in airsoft guns. <laughs> <That's> awesome, <laughs> Sharks, Shark Slayer from chat says he's a huge fan. Wants to give a shout out to you. Oh, thank you so much, Shark. Slayer. Thank you, Shark Slayer. Thank you very much. Shark Slayer three hundred two. They want to know if you still upload to the magic channel, or if you ha you haven't you haven't touched it for a while. It was actually pretty good. I had like 20,000 total views. I was all about the card tricks. And uh, if any of you actually watch Magic videos, Miss Mag, I think 822 or something was the big one. Is it still it's still active or you've pretty much just given up on it, I'm sure, and just work on this channel? Oh, yeah, I haven't I haven't touched that in like five, <laughs> six years probably. That's cool, man. I love, I love talking to content creators and hearing about how they first began. It's yeah. always something. It's always something so wildly different. I know when I when I, I, I when I was very young, I, I did a. Well, I guess I wasn't very young, but I started a YouTube channel where I was just doing, let's plays with no cam and no audio. It was the most boring thing. I still have it hidden in the depths somewhere. I go back and watch it. I'm like, what was I even thinking? <laughs> this is not even remotely entertaining. It's funny. Last upload was seven years ago. There you go. Now you all know. So you are. Um, so what do you plan on doing with this PC when you get it? Are you still there? Did I lose you? I think I might have lost you. I think I lost you, but no static wristband. He actually has one around his ankle. What did he just put on the motherboard? Those are M.2s. Two M.2s that he just put on the motherboard. Nine sixty Evo, thank you, Samsung. We lost Matt real quick. I'm sure he'll be back soon. How old is the M.2 tech, man? How old is the M.2 tech? I think it's about three years. John, what do you think, right? About three years, three four years ago. Nine sixty, so much money. Who is making this PC? This is built by our man John Tifford. If you guys are interested in his work, he uploads a lot of his work to. 
his Instagram channel. It's at John Tiffer, J O N T I F F O R D. What are the specs? We'll go. We'll go to the specs right now. Show you guys the specs again. You can always type exclamation point specs or exclamation point build, um, and you'll see it up in chat. But I'll talk about it now. You can also type exclamation point giveaway, and you'll see our giveaway going on. We are giving away an Eon 15s right now, guys. So that's our newest laptop that we launched. Uh, you can sign up at originspc.com slash giveaway. But you can also just click the link directly in chat when it comes up. If I want to work at Origin PC, how do I reply? You can go to originpc.com slash careers. Ask John if he personally built my PC. It shipped yesterday. Jelen, no, he did not. John only does our review systems and he does these live builds. But we have a team of us. Uh, John started off in assembly just like the rest of us. Nubs. We all... It's like a it's like a rite of passage here at Origin PC. You have to build at least 200 PCs before you go anywhere. Just so everyone everyone's built something here, man, and it's awesome. You all learn how to build the Origin PC way. But adrenaline, thank you so much, man, and a wel welcome to the Origin PC family, bud. I have seen you on a lot on social media, shouting out our praises. So I thank you for that, man. Much love to you. I think a shout out to HyperX for the custom branded RAM is in order. Oh, of course, Bram. I mean, HyperX has been with us for such a long time. I shout them out as much as I can. Always and always and over and over. They're our best friends, man. It's like that pal that's always there. And you always hang out with, so you forget to mention how cool he is. But he's super cool. Giveaway. There it is. All right, let's go about the specs real quick, shall we? Are these the brand new Titan XPs? Yes, they are. So, white Genesis, uh, Origin BC, high performance fans, 850 watt EVJ Supernova G3s, white individually sleeved power cables, the Asus Maximus uh, IX, that's 9, right? Do I know my Roman numerals correctly? The Maximus 9 Hero motherboard, a Blu ray drive, which if you missed my funny snippet earlier about optical drives, I won't bore you with it again. Uh, Intel Core i7 7700K, dual 12 gigabyte NVIDIA Titan X's. Um, full cryogenic liquid cooling on both the CPU and the GPUs, 32 gigabytes of HyperX RAM, 250 gigabytes Samsung 960 Evo NVMe M.2 times two. This is they're probably going to go rated, I believe. John, do you know that off the top of your head? Yeah, they are. Cool. Raid zero, and a six six terabyte Western digital hard drive, Windows 10 Home, of course. Let's bring MS Tech back down. Hello. Uh, yeah. So, office Wi-Fi stuff. So I'm now on the phone. Hello. So we got no... Hello. Yo. Hey. Got you What's back. On? Cool. Cool. Yeah. That's my bad. The uh, the Wi-Fi in the office is rather trash. So I switched over to LTE. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Are you in your your office? Is where like this is where you shoot all your videos? Yeah. And stuff? So I have a very a small office in the town over from Chapel Hill. I go to uh, University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. And, oh, nice, uh, Tar Heels. Yeah, yeah, big year this year. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I go to the office uh, three times a week to film. It's mostly just to film. I can do basically everything else involved in the whole process, uh, just behind a laptop, kind of anywhere. But I definitely needed a place to film. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if you noticed, but we got the the liquid coolant, the liquid cool. Or the liquid for the liquid cooling that John has in the background there. He worked very, very hard to try to get Whoa. that North Carolina blue. <laughs> that looks amazing. Yeah, he tried to get oh that for it. We did it. We were doing a <laughs> mixture yesterday. And, he, man, he he worked his ass off to try to get that just right. That looks great. Yeah, I think it's going to look oh. awesome in there. Never actually used the, that light of a blue before, so it's going to be really neat to see. I like it. Will it be running Windows XP? No, it will not. We'll be running Windows 10. <laughs> Switch to full screen now. Yeah, good call, man. Just wanted you guys to get the, the specs. Everyone got the specs. And real quick, do not forget originpc.com slash giveaway for your chance to win an Eon 15X. OrginPC, I'm thinking about working on getting my CompTI A plus certification for computer ser service and repair. Any tips? Uh, just a lot of studying. <laughs> Study as much as you can, man. It's the, the A plus certification books super thick and intimidating um, but it's really not that hard of a test man I think I did it I did it like right after high school I got my A plus certification 
Uh, how high are you going to overclock it to you? That's a question for John. I don't even, John, do you know? If, are you guys planning on it? I'm, I'm assuming you're planning on overclocking it. Yeah, so for review systems, our main goal is to get as high as we can for the overclock. Uh, we're basically going to try it, try to get the top overclock that we've ever done and then work our way down from there until you get it just right. As you guys, for most, most of you know, um, CPU overclocking is pretty finicky. Every CPU is kind of different. So there's a lot of testing involved. There's a lot of uh, back and forth involved, and we're just going to see where it lands and what, what fits. We might even do try a bunch of different CPUs till we get one that we like. Or WC, have you worked with the Asus Strix Z270E motherboard? And if so, what are your thoughts on it? I personally have not. But I have heard, heard good things. Um, as I was saying earlier, Asus makes, or Asus, however you like to pronounce it, makes the, in my opinion, the best motherboards. I, I absolutely love them. Um, their KB Lake and Skylake motherboards were top notch. And, it's what we primarily, it's not what we primarily use, but it's what primarily gets ordered by, by our customers. Bathroom break for John? No, I think you have to go right now and get something. Look at that coolant, that looks amazing. Yeah, it's awesome, right? <laughs> Kuzi, I'm building a rig and I wanted to know if you have any tips, especially tips for cable management. You know, our table cable management pro is John over there. Uh, the best thing to do, the be what I always used to do is start cable managing one by one, especially when it comes to like the... So I would always run the case the case cables first, manage those. Um, and then when I started doing the power supply cables, I do like the big, the 24 pin and the 8 pin for the motherboard. Uh, tighten those down and then do everything one by one. Uh, start getting the SATA cables in there, cable tie those down, do the GPU cables, cable tie those down. Don't try to just install everything and then... Uh, manage them all at once because it gets really overwhelming and confusing. It's best to do it like in sections. What do you think about the Gigabyte X99 motherboard? I've been having issues with the blue micro cause of random USB device. Any idea what that's all about? Uh, no, not too sure. The Gigabyte X99 motherboards are fantastic. We use them quite often. I think actually the system, not this system, but one of the systems that we have in the back, that's what we use with. And it's phenomenal. I'm nine hours away from Origin PC. Sweet, dude. Come by and say hello sometime. So you are in, you're in North Carolina right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So uh, only East two school. more weeks, though. Oh, sweet. How long have you been in school? Are you almost done? Or? Uh, it's uh, my first year of college. And, oh, uh, sweet. I swear to God, it flew by. Yeah, I I'm bet. I'm so sad it's already quarter over. I bet. So you were doing you were doing this channel way before you got into UNC, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's actually pr uh, probably the biggest reason I got into UNC. Oh, cool, man. That's that's amazing. It what was, I wasn't sure, it. like, definitely, I applied to a bunch of different schools, and it, it was interesting to see which ones kind of recognized the, the new media type of thing mm -hmm. versus which ones were, like, uh, this, like, really, I mean, I guess it came down to who's reading the essay and what their level of uh, knowledge about it is, but different colleges definitely place different values on it. Oh, for sure. What are you going to school for? Uh, business administration. Nice. Hmm. Solid, solid field. Yeah. And either entrepreneurship or uh, something like finance within that. So what do you got, what do you got planned? Uh, anything planned for your channel coming up in the future? Uh, actually, this is a good... Uh, tomorrow is probably the biggest video project that we've ever done on the channel. Oh. Yeah, it is a full video about the Tesla Model S and all of the tech inside of it. Wow, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, I, we got the opportunity to shoot for four or five hours. Uh, it might have been last Sunday, actually. And um, we just went out. We did a long shoot, really in-depth one, which is the tech inside going up tomorrow. And then in a couple weeks, there's a video that's literally just testing out the autopilot, which is just absurd to have that car drive itself on the highway. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I can't it was wait really to check cool that experience. out. How did you, how did you get that? Did you reach out to them and kind of ask? Uh, them? So I mentioned in a video that I pre-ordered the Model Three, which comes out delivers next year or late this year, depending on their uh, schedule. Um, and then I just somebody reached out and was like, "Hey, I have this Tesla. Like, do a video." He actually works at Tesla, but it, um, this was just like a, his car. Oh <laughs> man, that's awesome. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. That's really really cool. 
for sure. Um, can this PC run Batman Arkham Knight? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it can. So. <laughs> or DPC, I just noticed a TV monitor in the corner. Yeah, we just added that today. That's just uh, so now John can see the camera angles and stuff, and I don't have to yell at him to adjust anything. He can see oh, it and smart. adjust himself. Arkham Knight was hella good. It's amazing. Whoa, whoa, Tesla talk? Yes, sir. That's our CEO in chat. Looks like MS Tech oh, will be doing a Tesla on? video tomorrow. Yes, sir. Um, I missed some questions up here. Hold on. Let me scroll up real quick. Hey, Max Bunny. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Uh, do you think my PC could run just cause? The specs are an AMD A6, 16 gigabytes DDR3 RAM, AMD Radeon 2 R7 240. Yeah, I think you should be okay. Um, you might not be able to do it at the highest settings, but I think it could run fine. Can this PC run Crisis at 4K at 100 FPS? Is there is there a PC out there that can do that? What a beauty <laughs> of a MOBO, isn't it? Yeah, this was this is a wonderful mo motherboard. I like the power drill for this. <laughs> yeah. And people always ask us about that because, I mean, even when I first started working here, I was like, whoa, you guys use power drills for this? Yeah. Um, it's, I always, you know, I've been, I was building PCs years before I started here, and we always did with screwdrivers, of course, because, I mean, that's how you're taught. Yeah. But here, you know, since we work at a place where we manufacture a lot of these, uh, speed is a big part of it. Um, and then once, like right now, like, obviously there's no rush when you're building a marketing system in this case, whether it be for a review or for a sponsorship or whatever, but we're just so used to it at this point. Like I can't build, yeah. I can't build a PC with, with a screwdriver anymore. <laughs> I get frustrated. I'm like, this is taking way too long. Give me a Especially drill. when the, the actual shaft of it isn't long enough. You have yeah. to go with weird angles and stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. But yeah, we've, we've just set, all grown so accustomed to using the power drill. Efficiency. Is there any concern with like over tightening screws? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, we use a very, very low torque power drill. Okay, okay. That's the main thing. Um, and again, it's just practice. We've done it so many yeah, times. Yeah. We know just, just the right amount before we're going overboard. I've yeah, definitely yeah. broken a motherboard or two in my past. Before, really? Like, before you get accustomed to it. Oh yeah. Isn't over tightening screws bad for the motherboard? Absolutely, absolutely is bad. That's why you got to be very careful. I would only recommend a power drill if you're experienced in using one. What's the best monitor for a triple monitor setup? It's completely up to you. Um, a lot of people go with the three three of the same type monitors when they want to get that really clean look on their PC setup. Um, a lot of people like myself have like a completely Frankenstein setup where I have I have every monitor from. I've got I have three different types of monitors. Four actually, because I have like, <laughs> a quad monitor setup. Origin PC CEO in the house. <laughs> Sit straight up. Hey, clip clip hips. Mm -hmm. Good stuff there. Good stuff there, clip hips. What, what did I miss? Hashtag stay classy. Yeah, I copied that from Anchorman since the very beginning of my channel, and it just stuck, and it has been the outro every single video. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, what are you planning, if you don't mind me asking, unless you want to leave it for surprise, you don't have to answer this, but what type of video Go are you planning it. on doing this, just a complete overview? So, I, uh, I haven't quite decided. I mean, there definitely has to be just a dedicated video of showing off the system, and there definitely will be, but I don't think... I think I can get more than one piece of content out of it. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a couple different things that are bouncing around my mind. Might build like a temporary setup around it, uh, you know, with like uh, maybe a triple monitor setup, maybe even like a triple monitor 4K setup or so something ridiculous around it. Um, and then, yeah, I don't really know. But then I also want to like film kind of casually the whole process of receiving it and uh, like setting it up in the first place because I feel like with that big palette, it's going to be pretty cool. So I don't know. We'll see. Right. Have you seen? Uh, I'm I'm assuming you're, you've you've seen how our cases come packed for shipping, in those yeah, big wooden yeah, crates. Yeah, yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, it's so it's so exciting to unbox them. I still get a kick of doing it. I mean, I've, I've probably <laughs> boxed and unboxed so many. I like I can't even count how many of these I've done. 
But every time I do it, it's just like, oh, this is so exciting. It's just such a cool <laughs> experience. They're yeah, big, heavy, yeah, bulky. Yeah. I love uh, our, a lot of our customers have tweeted at us pictures of what they've done with their boxes after. Some of them have built like uh, uh, little play houses for their kids. Some of them have done like shelving with it, <laughs> built tables with it. One person did an actual baby chicken incubator, believe it or not. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Wow. It was pretty neat. But I love seeing the creativity of our clientele. Yeah, it's a, huge, a lot of wood there. You can do a lot of things. For yeah. Sure. Why did you guys steal my PSU? Huh. We've been found out. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to carry that wooden crate box up two flights of stairs. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend carrying it. Maybe, maybe unbox ah, it downstairs. Ah, yes! Teamwork! Origin PC CEO subscribed for two years. <laughs> my man, thank you so much, Kevin. For subscribing to your own channel, <laughs> but uh, that's all donation for the Saint Jude. So thank you for that. Can we get a hashtag for the kids in chat for our CEO, please? Way to recycle. <laughs> Origin PC. I'm painting mine black and putting hinges on the top and using it for storage. Paint it black and cover in PC stickers. Oh, neat, neat idea. Hashtag for the kids. Boom. Excuse me while I go into commercial mode, Matt. Go for it. <laughs> so back, back again for those that missed it. Our April promo right now. Turn in your tax refund and get an Epic upgrade. If you purchase select desktop or select 10 series Eon laptops, you get a free 850, uh, 250 gigabyte Evo SSD from Samsung. A free digital copy of For Honor or Ghost Recon Wildlands with select NVIDIA GPUs. Free digital Steam key for Shroud of the Avatar. Free $100 Try On Worlds in-game credit. Free digital copy of Halo Wars 2. Euro Truck Simulator 2 and Dreadnought M game credit with select Intel CPUs. So make sure to check out OriginPC.com now. You can see even more details than what I'm giving you. Um, every month we do a different promotion. This month is especially juicy, so take advantage if you can. Just so you know, a kid is a baby goat. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm well aware of the double meaning. I think I'm also going to do an unboxing of mine. You already know I post on Twitter so many pics incoming tomorrow oh, i can't wait to see it adrenaline very excited for you man do you like indie games if so what games i love all sorts of games i'm so glad you brought that up so um there's a game that i play i guess it would be considered indie but it wasn't always it's an mmo called dark fall online that was released maybe like five six years ago um unfortunately the company that owned it went down uh so another company bought it up and they are an indie company and they've revamped it completely. That will be releasing in May. You can check them out at riseofagon.com. Uh, go, go, go! Show them some love. Shoot them a follow on Twitter. It's a really, really awesome. Ah, MMO. Yes, teamwork. Ah, DD Bleak, my man. Thank you so much for the sub. Hashtag for the kids in the chat, please. Um, so, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's a full loot PvP game. So very hardcore PvP centric MMORPG with first person shooter combat. It's it's crazy intense and a lot of fun. Check it out, riseofagon.com. Uh, so it looks like right now John's doing a little bit of cable management. What have we got so far inside the PC, John? Spin it around real quick and I'll take it. Ah, there we go. So we got the motherboard mounted already, the CPU in the motherboard, the M.2s on the motherboard, and the RAM already plugged in. So now he's doing just the basic nice. cable management, plugging the USB ports, and doing all the case, the case cables, like the power LED. Et cetera, et cetera. Oh man, that looks amazing. Yeah, wait, wait till you see John. John is a master of. Um, wow, I've been sub for one month longer than Origin PC CEO Scott. Scott, you're the <laughs> man. So much support. Um, yeah, his cable management is something. It's, it's unbelievable. I still, I'm still in awe every time I see him build a PC. Can we get a link for that game? Sure, man. Riseofagon.com. I believe that's it. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. No problem, that one guy. Let's 
see what other questions I've missed. Oh, yeah. If you guys have any game suggestions that you want to see tested on this, definitely put them in there. There you go. Um, you want us to add it? We can definitely do that for you. Um, uh, anyone yeah, in chat sure. have any suggestions for Matt on what type of games you'd like to see? This is rather uninteresting. How dare you? How dare you, Henry? Henry backs you so. <laughs> John is legit the best builder I've ever worked with. He freed PJ. Hey, Koozie, I have an Origin PC i5-6500 and a Gigabyte GAZ-170MX Gaming 5. Cool. Thinking of upgrading to a KB, KB Lake, but was informed may require a BIOS update. Yes, you absolutely would. If something goes wrong in the BIOS update, cool. is it just a break or should I leave things as is and not upgrade? So always best to back up your BIOS. Um, you can do that usually through the, the flash portion of your BIOS. It should give you an option to save your current BIOS version. If not, another option that you could take is find out which BIOS version you have by going into the BIOS, of course. Uh, go on the website for your motherboard manufacturer. Download that exact version that you know works with your current config. Um, save that onto a USB. And then download the newest version and go through the whole BIOS update. Make sure everything's working flawlessly. And if it's not, just revert back to the old one. You should be okay. BIOS updates are not dangerous at all. The only issue is if something goes wrong during the update and you lose power, yes, it could kind of mess up your motherboard entirely. It's not completely unsalvageable, but it's a lot of work to salvage it. So it's something handle with care at your own risk, what I'd always say. I suggest Ori and the Blind Forest. Ori and the Blind Forest is absolutely fantastic. Good choice. I'm definitely going to have to get me one of those backpacks. Adrenaline is a great choice, man. Those backpacks that we have here can carry small children. They're huge. <laughs> ah, yes. Teamwork. Dallas, thank you so much for the subscription. Hashtag for the kids in chat, guys. Thank you so much. Legendary Vigilante, how you doing, buddy? Yes, of course, this, this stream was announced. Been promoting it all week, all week long. Guys, also, uh, mentioned it earlier in the stream, tomorrow we will be streaming again at 3 p.m. EST. Uh, we're going to be doing a stream dedicated to our new Eon 15S. Make sure to hang out. We're actually going to go through the whole process of unboxing it, turning it on, talking about the specs for that particular build, what type of specs you can get, um, showing you guys all the different features of the laptop itself showing off the laptop itself how it looks how it feels we're gonna be running some benchmarks on it we're gonna be doing some gaming on it and we're gonna be doing some vr on it so it's all gonna be pretty exciting we're gonna have some special guests join us uh kevin washaleski our ceo who's in chat right now and our mobile product manager tony barry will also be joining us just to talk about the laptop itself um so feel free to join us if you want to learn more about it if you just want to hang out it's gonna be a lot of fun What type of games are you into, Matt? Do you do a lot of gaming? Uh, you know, I do. I don't. I haven't been. I haven't PC gamed in a while, just as a lack of time. I got the Switch recently, so I've been playing <laughs> a lot of Zelda. Um, you and which me is both. Just so <laughs> phenomenal, so good, isn't it? Man? I, can't, I can't put that down. Right before I got that, I was playing a lot of Dark Souls for the first time, and uh, it, it, that was an interesting game. But once I got Zelda, it was just game over. It's game over. I know. I, everything's everything's taking a back seat since Zelda came out. So let me tell you yeah. a little bit about my experience with the Switch. Uh, I haven't yeah. I haven't owned a console since the 360, and it's just because I've yeah. been it's the Xbox 360, and that's just because I've been and that's when the Xbox 360 first came out. I played it for like a year, and then basically like sold it and just went straight PC gaming for that entire time. Been mm -hmm. completely uninterested in consoles since. Um, then I saw the Switch, and I'm like, man, you know what? That's pretty yeah. neat. Just the fact that I can take it with me everywhere. And I was reading so much about Zelda, and I, I've always been such a huge Zelda fan. I'm like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a whirl. And, man, I'm so happy I did. I've been, I've had it in my hand since it came out pretty much. I'm, I'm thinking about it right now. Like, I'm here doing this live <laughs> build, and in the back of my mind, all I'm thinking about is how I can And I saw that they, more uh, shines. they're coming out with the new um, Mario Kart game. That all yeah. And I was just going to sell it after Zelda, but now, now I'm like, just wait. <laughs> I think it comes out in two weeks. Nano Kitten, what's going on? Yeah, it comes out on the 28th of this month, so not too far oh, off. Wow. Yeah, I guess I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's going to be a lot of fun. What's cool is that a lot of people here in the office own a Switch, 
So the fact that we all get to play Mario Kart together. Oh, that's great. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're looking forward so to is it. So is it limited to, like, in Mario Kart will be two people per Switch? Um, I think it's two to four people per Switch. Oh, okay. And then I you can even you can connect. Those joy oh, nice. Six terabytes going into the hot swap bay. Nice. So, um... I think, and I, I guess they haven't really talked about it, but I think you can go like split screen on one Switch and then connect locally to another Switch so it can be four players on two different Switches. It's pretty oh, cool. yeah. That'd be interesting. That's kind of like the how like the DS used to work. You used to be able to like plug into each other. And yep. Like... yep. <laughs> it's going to be pretty awesome. What are the specs? You can type exclamation point specs in chat. There you go, or exclamation point build. Um, I'll talk. The, I'll talk about them a little bit later too. Those are some absurd specs. I love it. I know, isn't it? It's pretty crazy. This is one of the highest end systems we've done on a live build. I mean, I'm all, on it. all we do is pretty, pretty sweet. But the fact that it's fully liquid cooled, it's pretty awesome. Especially been, with that collar too. Yeah, I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. I think our next really big thing that we want to do is do the hardline liquid cooling on one of these builds it just it takes so much time yeah but i'm sure with enough yeah. prep work it wouldn't be too bad <clears throat> can the boss build a pc can he of course he can will he that's the different story <laughs> would we be able to suggest a different motherboard if we don't want to use the ones in the configurator uh yes show to pop it it is something we've done in the past the reasons that we offer the ones that we offer in the configurator is because we've tested them and we are pleased with them. So usually we, we try every single motherboard. We run it through benchmarks, we test them in all sorts of different types of configurations and we just go which, with whichever one works best for us. Um, but if there's one that you really, really want, um, you could definitely special order it and we'd be able to do that for you. We just have to. We just want to make sure that it absolutely works. If it's something that we've already tested and we know it doesn't work all that well, we'd probably turn you away from it. But then again, if it's something you really want, then you know we're willing to work with you. How many people work at Origin? A ton. I don't really have an exact number for you. What was your first console? Mine was a Texas Instruments. Your first console around the time the Atari came out. My first console was an NES Classic. Back in, back in the day, that was my first... I remember playing Mario and Duck Hunt. Those were my games. And then I owned pretty much every console since then up until the 360, the Xbox 360. And that's kind of when I my, my love for consoles dwindled. How many is a ton? 50, 300, 800? Uh, I, I don't even know. I wouldn't be able to give you... like Definitely a lot. <laughs> 800 is a bit much. Definitely not 800, but those other numbers are totally possible. You know, I actually just got a um, Nintendo GameCube, just the original GameCube. Did you? And we've been playing like Super Smash and uh, like NBA Street on it. And it's, that's just some throwback. The nostalgia with those is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I can't wait till. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to do a virtual console for the Switch. Which is where they upload all their their old games from, like the GameCube or oh, no N64 or the Nintendo yeah. onto the store, so you can just download them and play them directly on the Switch. I'm really oh excited. Oh my for god, that. that'd be amazing! Any tips for building a budget PC? Uh, your best bet would probably be to go to a website like PCPartPicker.com. Um, on PCPartPicker.com, you can kind of spec out a PC, and it, it helps you out. Well, I think it does it like by pricing. You can you can do everything by pricing, so you can spec one out that's budget. It'll even tell you if the parts you're picking are compatible with one another. Um, you can order everything all directly from there. It might order them off different websites, but you can do the ordering directly off that website. So that's a I, I always recommend that website for anyone doing budget builds or just builds in general. I still remember when PC Part Picker was just starting out, and he would be all over the Reddit.com slash r slash build a PC. Yeah. And he would be so like involved in getting like direct feedback. He's like, it, he's basically catering to that community at the yep. beginning, yep. and then it really just blew up. Good, <clears throat> good for that guy. Yeah, he did it right, man. Let me tell yeah, you. that's the way to do it. I mean, he he basically beta tested his whole his whole website for free just by going on Reddit. I just looked it up on uh, worthofweb.com. Mm -hmm. 
the very arbitrary value of PC part picker is $83 million. No way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those these values are very, very yeah. arbitrary, but still. That is insane. Especially, does he use affiliate links with, with all those? I'm sure he does. Yeah, I would guess. I need a pop filter. Is it because I'm using too many P words that you guys are noticing this? PC <laughs> part picker. My bad, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just move it away from my mouth for now. What's your favorite Mario game? Uh, God, it's a tough choice. See, I've only ever really played the older ones. Mario 64, I'm, I'm guessing, was my favorite. That was, like, the last one I played. I don't think I've ever even played a dedicated Mario game. Because, like, Mario Kart wouldn't count, right? No, yeah. Yeah, Super no, Mario I don't think I've ever played. Yeah, I would have to Actually, be Mario 64. I've played, um... Gosh, I don't even know the name. Maybe like Mario World, the one with the castle, and uh, oh man, I, it's gonna kill me. I don't know, I played on the DS. Damn, I forget the name of it. SM64. Super Smash Bros. Benchmarks? No, we're not gonna be benchmarking this, so... Usually when, when we build PCs, these are the steps, we actually put it together, then we integrate it. Uh, during the integration process, we install the OS, we install any extra software that a customer or reviewer um, requests we never do any bloatware so if you're a customer of ours the way you order the PC online is the way you will receive it if you choose just to have Windows alone installed that is all you will have on there we never do we never add on any like antivirus software or anything that you don't personally request you can request uh, yeah for sure we, uh, <laughs> we hate that see we're all do gamers ourselves and we just we, we know exactly what customers want what was that I'm sorry do you guys use, uh, I might even not be pronouncing right, but 9-8 minute, 9-8 minute, uh, it's, um, it's like this, I mean, I remember using this, I actually haven't built a PC in a while, ever since I stopped editing, yeah. I haven't needed a powerful one, but 9 night yeah, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's like this online kind of custom installer, but you basically just check off every program you want, and it has everything from Chrome to iTunes to, like, Dropbox, and it's literally oh, yeah. everything you possibly want and it's just one one installation thing that just does them all at once so it's it's basically the go-to at the very beginning oh that's cool no we ha we have our own program that does that one that we've developed in-house damn yeah, look we at you it, we call it the originator like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome <laughs> that's good are we gonna see the fill up and leak test that you will see <laughs> You're gonna see the fill up. Hopefully, no leaks. But you never know when you're liquid when you're liquid cooling a system. I mean, it's definitely a risk. I, it's always there. I have about ten minutes left on here, so if anyone has any specific questions for me, uh, now would be the time. There you go, guys. So Matt's gonna be on for another ten minutes. If anyone has any specific questions, you can feel it directly to him or ask me, and I'll ask him whatever you guys want. Nice, I hate all the bloatware that normally comes pre-installed. Yeah, so do we. That's exactly why we steered away from it. The Asus laptop accidentally powers up some sort of gaming suite all the time. Um, it usually happens when you, when you, uh, it's the AI suite, I believe it's called. It comes with all Asus motherboards. Um, you could just uninstall that. It's not absolutely necessary. JFX LLA, I will, I will not be committing any murder anytime soon. <laughs> no. Oh god, the, the all right. So if you the question that no no the mad no the mad just asked uh, yeah. about the hickey. So <laughs> so in the in the latest video, uh, we uploaded it and like in two hours I sent a message in our in the group chat of the me and the two other team members and I was just like try to find a top comment that isn't about the hickeys and literally there was just fifteen <laughs> ones with like eighty likes each. That's just all about them. and the worst part of it is the video that I just uploaded yesterday is like four days after the Tesla video. And the Tesla video is just fresh off of, you know, the origination of those hickeys. <laughs> so though on Friday, that video is going to be, uh, that's going to be a little bit worse. It's fantastic. Good for you, man. <laughs> that's all you. we got to say. I, I figured, I mean, I could use makeup more. Just <laughs> let it happen. Just, um, just let it happen, man. It's, it's only the internet. Yeah. DK Butler. Uh, I honestly don't handle the giveaways anymore. But we were working with Tesoro on that, and the winner has already been chosen, and the keyboard has been chosen. 
What's up, Soren? How you doing, buddy? Why is Origin so expensive? Fantastic question, one that I love answering. Um, <laughs> so, when you spec out, if you were to configure one of our PCs on OriginPC.com, and then you could spec it, spec it out on a site, like PC Part Picker, you gotta use the exact same parts, though. The exact same parts that we use. Don't, like, try to skimp and get, like, a bronze, bronze grade PSU or something like that. Do the exact, exact parts. Uh, you'll see that the difference is not too much. It is ex more expensive. Obviously, we are a business. Um, what does that extra cost go into? Well, it goes into the labor of building and integrating the machine, of course. Um, you also get a standard one-year warranty that comes with all the PCs. You also get 24 lifetime, 24 hour lifetime customer support with every one of your PCs. So any PC that you buy from us for the entirety that you own that PC, we have a hotline for you that you can dial in at whatever time of the day and someone here in the United States in Miami, Florida will pick up that phone call for you and help you out with whatever PC issue you might have. You can even just call them and say hi if you want. 24-7? 24-7. It's Damn. pretty awesome. Yeah, good stuff. Um, so for a lot of people, it's well worth it. You're basically paying that extra money for security. You know, you're paying for the the peace of mind knowing that your computer is going to be completely taken care of if any issues were to arise. Um, you only have to send broken parts to one place instead of 15 different manufacturers. Um, we take care of everything for you. Yo, I want a direct line to you, Kuzi. Oh, man. Follow me at KuziL on Twitter. So that's the only direct line. I'm literally on there all the time. So, Does John use cable combs? He does not. So I can call at 3.30 in the morning and talk to someone? You absolutely can. Or do you see expensive because of the quality? And I will attest to the phone. Uh, they were answering within moments and it was extremely helpful. Didn't even have to do machine prompts. Nice. Kuzi, give me your digits. <laughs> Does the PC have a name? This is the Origin PC Genesis. I once tried to build a PC when X99 came out and spent a month arming parts because the early X99 gigabyte BIOS were tear bad. There you go. Yeah. It's exactly how it is. I mean, when you're, if if you have ever built a PC on your own, you know the woes. Um, sometimes a part's bad and you have to send it to. Sometimes two parts are bad and you have to send it off two different ways. And sometimes that part comes in bad again. And it's just a whole big RMA process until you get it right. Sometimes you get lucky. And it works right off, right off uh, the rip, but it doesn't happen all the time. Now that you say that, someone's just gonna call and say hi, and then hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> or DBC, so what comes already on the system? Microsoft OS games and such, and those, and what else? Fluff-wise, nothing else. Adrenaline, whatever you requested on while you were configuring your PC is what comes on it. So if all you picked was Windows, that's all you're going to get. Um, if you picked some games, we have some games that you can pre-install. <laughs> you can do that, but that's it. There's no sort of uh, what we call bloatware or, or fluff. There's nothing extra on the PC. I once had to unbend the CPU pin with a toothpick. I've had to do that as well, but I'm not sure if I could ever give up the experience of putting PC together myself. And spreading the thermal paste. It's awesome, isn't it? It's one of my favorite parts also. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to do that when I get home. Uh, my motherboard just went out like two days ago, and I just got the new one in today. So I have to rebuild my PC. Yay. No problem, Adrenaline. My, my pleasure, man. Uh, any more questions for Matt, guys, before he has to leave? Anything else that doesn't have to do with his hickeys or giveaways? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever built a live stream cryo cooling system? Because I cannot remember. No, the only other one we've ever done was a liquid cooled CPU. This one's liquid cooled CPU and GPU. Can you give us a rough estimate of the cost of this PC? Sure. MSRP, I think it's around six to seven thousand, if I'm not mistaken. This nice. is a very, very, very high end system. I love it. All right, I think I got to head out. Uh, thanks for having me on the stream, and I cannot wait to get my hands on that. And actually, I can't wait to just see that blue uh, coolant in there once it's in there. <laughs> well, come back and watch it. We are going to upload the video to YouTube, too, so if you do miss it towards the end, you could see it later. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us, dude. Uh, it's very, very nice finally getting to talk to you, and I hope you enjoy Absolutely. this rig when you get it, man. Oh, I can't wait. I'm sure I will enjoy it quite a bit.
All right, you have a good one, guys. Remember, guys, everyone in chat, follow him, youtube.com slash user slash MS Tech Central. Did I get that right? Yes, sir. Awesome, dude. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Follow him on Twitter as well, MS Tech YT. YT. Perfect. Yes, sir. All right, man. Have a good one, Matt. All right. Have a good one. Later. Later. <clears throat> Origin PC are the per install game through Steam. Um, when well, so you can actually go in the configurator and choose Steam to be installed. Um, I think the only games that we like, we don't really. I think that's what we do. I don't think actually think we install pre-install games unless it's like League or World of Warcraft, something really common that you ask us for. But for the most part, we'd install like Battle.net or we'd install the EA Origin software. Notice how I said EA Origin? Please don't call us asking why your Sims 2 doesn't work. We don't know and we don't care. <laughs> um, what else? You play. GOG. I think that's it. And I, I think we have some other software and stuff that you can request to get installed. What is your favorite game in general? Man, that's a that's a loaded question. Uh, right now? I mean, I guess right... Honestly, my favorite game is the one that I was talking to you about. Uh, Rise of Agon. Or Darkfall. Darkfall is a, just a fantastic game. I love MMOs, right? And I love when MMOs are very, very punishing. Like Darkfall, for example, if, if you get killed, the person that killed you can loot everything off your body. So all your stuff's gone. I love those punishing games because it gives you, there's a lot of risk. There's a big risk versus reward system where if you're going out to get the toughest loot, you're in a very unprotected area where there's probably bad guys waiting for you to kill you. So, but then the pay payoffs really big. So I love games like that because when you're, when you're about to get in a fight, you feel, you get the shakes, you get that adrenaline pumping, you get scared. Um, another game like that, Albion online that just came out. Awesome. Awesome game. Albiononline.com. Check it out. MMOs in general are just something I love and I'm completely fascinated with and will probably be playing till I die. Right now, the game that I'm absolutely enamored with, though, is Zelda Breath of the Wild. My Sim City is acting up again, Kappa. But my Sims are dying. What is the most beastly system you all have put together for a customer? Uh, since I've worked here, there was one that we built that was about as tall as I am. It was a complete custom case that we built for the guy. Um, he requested it and engineered it himself, and it was the biggest pain in the butt to build, but it was awesome when it was finally done. Um, I think it was dual CPU. It had over 50 hard drives in it, crazy amount of storage. Um, it had like 30-something different fans because it was, it was literally as tall as I was, completely liquid-cooled. It had a dual CPU, um, quad GPUs. What else did it have that was crazy? Complete RGB lighting all over it. Like five different optical drives for some reason. Completely custom painted. Crazy, crazy custom build. I think that might have been the reason we're like, we're not doing custom builds anymore. We're coming out with our own case. Customers were requesting, requesting insanity. Now, but that was a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun. Koozie, Star Trek or Star Wars? Ooh. I'm going to answer honestly, and some of you guys might not like me, but 100% Star Wars. Do you play WoW, Koozie? If so, what server do you play on? Not anymore. I used to. I used to play WoW. Have you played Elite Dangerous? I could use some advice there. I have played Elite Dangerous. Not enough to give you advice, though. I'm a complete nub. What DX Racer do you have? Yes, these are DX Racers. Big thank you. Big shout out to our boys over at DX Racer. Awesome. <laughs> Unfollowed. Horde or Alliance for the Horde. For life. Good answer, Casey. I was worried there for a second. So big shout out to DX Racer for supplying John and I with these awesome chairs. Super comfortable. Aren't they, John? Yeah. <laughs> they really are. I love these chairs so much. Correct answer. <laughs> Opinion on pineapple on pizza? Oh, God. Why is this the biggest thing nowadays? I've, look, I'm a, I'm a huge pizza aficionado. 
and I love I love pineapple but I will tell you that I've never tried them together because just the thought of it gets me disgusted I've heard it's amazing I, I believe you I believe you I'm just not interested in trying it okay which console is better Xbox or PlayStation uh, which chair I'm not too sure I think this is just the racer racer series a racing series okay I have also not tried <clears throat> which console is better Xbox or PlayStation so when Xbox first came out I was all PlayStation for the longest time then the 360 came out and I was all Xbox and now in this generation I haven't tried it but I like both I see the benefits in both they both have great games the I, I love Xbox for the fact that they're blending it so seamlessly with Windows 10 that you can now play um, exclusives on the PC, which is absolutely phenomenal. So it's it's hard. It's tough to make a choice now. They both got great stuff. The the PlayStation lineup, like Last of Us and Uncharted and all those games that are exclusive to PS4 are phenomenal too. It's hard. It's a tough decision. One day on stream we'll have to try one. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather eat another ghost pepper than half pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Do those chairs straight in the back? Uh, that's a good question. No, they don't. You can, I can, oh, I could recline. I just recline there. All sorts of stuff. Do, what I do like about it is the, uh, the lumbar support. PS4, quiet, nano kitten, you know nothing. Vive or Rift? Uh, I like them both. I like them both. Again, same thing. They each have like their own exclusive titles, which are phenomenal. We have both here and we use both here. Tomorrow, Tomorrow I'm going to be doing some VR on the laptop and I'm going to be using the Rift. If the donations reach a certain coal, we try pineapple pizza. I'll, I'll try a ghost pepper pizza. <laughs> I can't do it. My body just will not. I guess I will. For a good cause, I'll do anything. Why not 2 times 1080 Ti? The Titan XPs are better. Um, maybe for his build, we might do 1080 Ti's. Like... When when he when he unboxes it and makes a video on his channel, it's probably going to be completely different than this build because we still have some work to do on it. We there's some stuff we might want to add. We're just doing this for the sake of the stream right now. It is very similar to what he's getting, but who knows? The end of it might be completely crazy. I agree. It sounds disgusting. I love pineapple on pizza. Do you? Ghost pepper pineapple pizza. <clears throat> what VR headset should I get under two hundred dollars? There's probably none that are worth it that are under two hundred dollars right now. But to be honest, Carnivore, I'd wait a while. Eventually, VR, you know, VR is a very new thing, and just like anything that's new, it's going to be really expensive at first. Eventually, it's going to become more mainstream, and it's going to drop down in price, and it's going to be more affordable for the masses. Right now, though, VR, um, I'd try it somewhere before you invest in it, because it doesn't. There's no full gaming experiences out for VR right now. Like, everything in VR is kind of just like a cinematic experience. There's short demos. There's no, like, full-fledged games that you can play for long periods of time. This is from my personal experience with VR. I can't wear that headset for longer than, like, 30 minutes to an hour max. Um, I think in the long run, VR, unless they, unless they come out something to work out the movement, for me, VR is mainly going to be for either cinematic experiences, like maybe watching a movie or doing some sort of cool educational thing on there um demos but full-fledged games where you like have to walk around and stuff that's just what to me that's what makes me dizzy in vr is if i'm walking and my body my body's still telling me that i'm still because i'm sitting on a chair or i'm standing still but my mind is like hey you're moving in this game why is your body standing still and it just messes with your whole equilibrium so is origin pc a business or just a switch name we are a business OriginPC.com. We build high-end PCs. We consider ourselves the Bugatti or Lamborghini of gaming PCs. If you want the high-end and you want the best, then you go with us. What do you suggest I do with the wooden crate? I have no storage space. The wooden crate from your PC? Oh, man, you can make a little storage cabinet out of your crate. A lot of people have done that. One of our customers was just in here talking. Can we still be friends? Of course. Of course, Elaine. We'll always be friends. Oh, 
Highly recommend Origin PC. No one else comes close. Jace to you. Much love, man. That was very, very kind of you. Very kind words. Lamborghini PC. Do those even exist? Yes. You're looking at one right now. What's your favorite movie? Stand By Me. No question. I didn't even have to think about it. I love that movie. I grew up on that movie. I've probably seen it like a hundred times. If you guys have never seen Stand By Me, it's a great coming of age film. Fantastically crafted. It was one of the first films I remember watching as a little kid and I've seen it like a million times since then. Are you guys excited for Destiny 2 on the PC? I know I am. I'm extremely excited. Um, I've never, I've never played, I never played Destiny because I didn't own an Xbox. And I always thought it was really cool. I almost bought an Xbox just to try Destiny. But now that it's coming out for the PC, I guess I'll hold off. Will Wheaton, yes, Will Wheaton, when he was, when he was a young, a young lad. <laughs> or DBC was started by former Alien War peeps before the Dark Times, before the Dell buyout. That's correct, TX Kicker. For those that don't know. <clears throat> For those that don't know, uh, so I don't know if you answered, can people ask for it to be live streamed? Oh, the PC? So here's the thing, Dallas. We've had, um, before I go into the whole Alienware story, which I will remind me if I forget, uh, we when we first did our live build, we we're like, ah, oh, maybe this will be cool. Maybe people will watch it. Let's try it out. We did it for Tally when we first sponsored him. If you guys don't know who Tally is, he's an awesome Twitch streamer, streams a lot of WoW. Um, we were like, oh, let's try this live build thing out. We'll stream his PC live to his audience and our audience and see if people dig it. During that stream, we had like 5,000 plus people watching because all, all of Tally's audience was here. And I mentioned on that stream, hey, if you guys ever want to buy an Origin PC and you want to live stream, all you have to do is request it to your sales rep. I don't know how, I don't know if every one of our customers was in that stream or something, but literally every single customer that we had on hold that was already having their PC build and, and people just started ordering it, requested for their PCs to be live built and we just don't have the resources to do that it's not that we don't have the resources but we'd have to have like 10 different channels all doing live builds in order for us to get all those customer systems out like each one of these streams to draw it out and stream it takes so long like we we answer questions we we go through the build process very slowly it would have taken forever we we still would have built and been building the PCs off of those fresh requests if we would have gone through requests so unfortunately we only do them for very special occasions, uh, sponsorships, reviews, events, stuff like that. Sometimes we'll do like a random customer's build if we don't have anyone that we're working with during that time, but for the most part, no. Okay, now back to the Alienware story. So our three founders, Kevin, Richard, and Hector, uh, built up Alienware from the ground up. They, were, they built up Alienware from 10 employees to the huge conglomerate worldwide corporation that it is now um, and then they heard a knock at the door like hey man we're Dell what's up uh, we like your PCs and they're like oh crap Dell likes our PCs we're Alienware they're like yeah we know who you are hey we're gonna let you uh, we're gonna buy your company but you guys just keep doing what you're doing and then um, that didn't work out for them at some point they were like hey man this is not well we're, we're not building the super high-end custom PCs anymore. We're becoming more like Dell. Are we going to stay here with our cushy jobs and have an easy life but be unenthused about what we're doing? Or do we want to continue doing what we were doing, which is building high-end PCs made for gamers by gamers um, that really deal with uh, completely custom, um, focus on support, uh, focus on on the high end part of it and that's what they did they were like yeah let's do it let's go back to the origins of gaming PCs huh you see where that came in and let's start this company origin PC and so here we are now <coughs> short story long cost of this build this build is about seven thousand dollars where's MS Tech he just left Hashtag for the kids, Moscow in the house. What's up, my man? Uh, 
Why did he leave? He had to go do stuff. He was only joining us for the beginning. It was really awesome to have him on, man. We don't really have a lot of guys that, that join us on voice comms, so it's really neat to have him here. The other day I saw a streamer get taken out in a game of Star Wars Battlefront by a guy named Trekkie. Ah, oh, bummer. Poor guy. What case is being used for this build? This is our own custom case, the Origin PC Genesis. Hashtag for the kids. Does he get to keep the PC or is it for review purposes? I believe it's for review purposes. Titan XP or Titan XP? I think the XP with the lowercase p is the newest one. So those, of course. Who is building the PC? This is our assembler, John, J-O-N-T-I-F-F-O-R-D on Instagram. Make sure to shoot him a follow. He posts a lot of really cool, awesome PC-centered pictures on there. How would one go about being sponsored by Origin PC? All you have to do is email a, f a fully fledged sponsorship proposal deck to marketing at originpc.com. If you've reached the point of your channel where you know what a proposal and deck looks like, then you know it's time to ask for a sponsorship. <laughs> at that point, send one out. Don't just email. <laughs> I get these emails sometimes. I'm not even joking with you guys. I can has PC question mark signature sent from iPhone <laughs> from like uh, donger458 at gmail.com. That's not a proper sponsorship proposal. I'm going to say no to this. Wow. I spell my name J-O-N. I never met another one. There's actually two here. Two J-O-Ns here. I will send an email body. I want, please. Will this be a hardline tubing build? No, this is soft tubing. Donger458, I saw a stream earlier today. He actually has some pretty good content, that guy. But Donger458 is such a cool guy. I'm glad that name's taking off. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reserve that on Twitch right now so no one steals it. Create, create name, Donger four five eight. <laughs> What's up, Relic? How you doing? Not short for Jonathan. Yeah, they're both short for Jonathan. That department's called the Johns. <laughs> Can I have PC sent from my iPhone? Exactly. How many PC case fans do you recommend? So it depends. Every every case you build it in <coughs> requires a different amount of fans. Oh, my throat is done. Um, for our cases, when it's just a standard sealed liquid cooling unit, we put, depending on the radiator up top, anywhere between two to four fans. No, two to f or three to five fans. Anywhere between three to five fans. When it's a f f like fully liquid cooled unit like this, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten fans total, right? Well, three, six, nine, ten. Ten. Yep. Nice. Nailed it. Somebody get water for koozie. I'm gonna go get some. I'm gonna take a quick breather and grab some. Matt, show us your hickeys. He left. He did talk about his hickeys though. To be young again. Hardline or softline tubing? This is softline tubing. Mine isn't just John instead of John. Not sure for Jonathan. Oh, cool. Neat. Can someone with little subscribers request a PC for review? Uh, yeah, you can always request it. We just, we look at every opportunity, you know, uh, we don't base it just off views. We base it off the type of channel, um, what you got going on, the, the, the proposal itself, how, how well polished it is and how much it really stands out. What we get, you guys can imagine. I mean, <clears throat> I think when I first started here, when I first started in, in the marketing department here, we'd get little requests here and there, but just, every every year that grows to like right now 
the amount of requests we get for review units or sponsorships is daily daily like 20 or 20 plus more maybe it's crazy it's insane it's awesome though it means more people know about us and want to test out our systems but have you guys done a Ryzen build yet we have That cable management, though, isn't he? He's spectacular. He's just not even... He's not even scratched the surface of his cable management. This is nothing. I was thinking about upgrading my current PC build that I have, but I think I'll just save up and buy an Origin Millennium. Defiant, that's awesome to hear, man. Awesome to hear. <clears throat> Excuse me for one moment, ladies and gents. This isn't even his final form. Sorry about that. My throat is dry as hell. Alright, we're gonna test something real quick. Since I fixed the echo with uh, Matt, let's see if I fix the echo with John by the same fix. John, can you unmute your microphone real quick? And now everyone, did you unmute it? Check, check. Can you hear me? Alright, now, do, am I still coming out as an echo in John's John's headset? And can't and can you hear John? Is free PJ still a thing? It sure is. Check this out. Not only is it still a thing, <laughs> we also have emotes. You tell me. A little echo? Okay. If I talk low enough, that's awesome. I think I, I think I figured out what the issue was. I still hear an echo. Damn it. The echo is very subtle. I can fix that. I can fix that. I don't know if this will screw up the whole thing, but we'll give it a whirl. I too like to live dangerously. So the issue was, I figured it out, for those of you that are ever wondering if you're streamers yourself or content creators. You're like, yeah, I'm getting an echo. So what I was doing, I was using a splitter. As you see here. The splitter right here was um, splitting the audio to my headset and John's headset so we can both hear what was going on. Unfortunately, that was also causing an echo. Since I disconnected that, the echo issue seemed to be fixed. Your pop filter. You forgot it at home? I've never had a pop filter for this mic. This is actually the first stream where people have ever called that out. Who will be using this PC? This is for MS Tech. YouTube.com slash user slash MS Tech Central. Check it out. He's a, a tech reviewer on YouTube. So he's going to be re reviewing this system. <clears throat> What's YouTube? Oh. Exactly. <laughs> These are the channel where people uh, just yell. Just yell into the microphone while they play games and talk really fast. And There's cuts. Short videos. It's weird. Don't worry about it. Um, while we're on a little lull here. Guys, check out our April promo. It's pretty neat. 
with uh, select desktops and select 10 series laptops, you get a free Samsung 850 250 gigabyte Evo, a digital copy of For Honor or Ghost Recon Wildlands with select NVIDIA GPUs, free digital Steam key for Shroud of the Avatar, free $100 try on world's codes in game credit, or a free digital copy of Halo Wars 2, Euro Truck Simulator 2, and Dreadnought with select Intel CPUs. Super excited about that Euro Truck Simulator 2 though. Also, for those of you that have missed it, for those of you that haven't been paying attention, for those of you that are sleeping under a rock, we launched a brand new spectacular laptop with a starting price of $900, $999, I'm sorry, which is probably the the most entry level price that we've ever had. And we're really excited um, to cater to like a whole new audience. This is obviously a very entry level laptop. Um, you can equip it with up to a 7700HQ. Um, every one of the every one of the configurations comes with a 1050Ti. With a 1050Ti, is very similar, maybe a little bit more powerful than a 980M. So an extremely powerful G mobile GPU. It's less than an inch thick, uh, weighs around four pounds. Awesome and amazing starting price. Um, so check that out. And if you think 999 is still too expensive for you. The fantastic news is that, man, we're giving one away. So check that out. Uh, OriginPC.com slash giveaway. You could sign up right now for your chance to win one. Winners will be announced next Friday. And next Friday we'll be doing another live build for Eat My Diction. So tune into that. Be here. I'll announce the winner on stream. Maybe it's you. That'd be awesome. Whoops. <clears throat> um, you know, it should be fun to see here. Are you eating a ghost pepper? I've eaten two ghost peppers on this stream, Legendary. And each one of those times was poisonous. I've been known to randomly leave as reactions to Discord messages for no, no reason. <laughs> Sweet. So that's you, M12. Now I get it. Because I have seen that happen. Guys, if you haven't joined our Discord community, discord.gg slash originpc, I'd love to see you all there. Come join us. It's of absolutely no cost to you. If you like talking tech, if you like talking games, just come to our channel and hang out with us. I'm always in there chatting with people um, all day, all long. So if you can't get enough of me and I can't get enough of you, join us, discord.gg slash originpc. Origin PC, is there a way to convert my Eon 17X into the newer Eon 17S down the road when I decide to upgrade? You mean the Eon 17 SLX? Is that what you mean? How long does it usually take to build a PC such as this one with two GPUs? Such as this one, when it's uh, completely liquid cooled like this, it normally takes around two hours if he's just straight building and doing it quickly. Two to two and a half hours. Is that pretty fair, John? Uh, yeah, I'll say two to two and a half hours. Yeah, when it's fully liquid cooled like this. Link to Discord, I got you right now. It's also floating, floating down below me right here. It's about to, it's about to come. Ready? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Right there. Right there. Yeah, right there. Are you guys only available in the U.S.? We ship worldwide. Worldwide. Man, my voice sounds like I ate a lot of cheese today. And without liquid cooling, without liquid cooling, you can probably do it in 30, 45 minutes. Oh. I have a 4770 CPU. Would a 1080i work well with it? Probably be a bottlenecking. A 1080ti might be just a bit much for that CPU. Um, you wouldn't necessarily need one unless you're gaming like a 4K. If you're just gaming a 1080p, man, a 1070 is all you need. Super affordable and fantastic. Noob question, why would someone run two GPUs in SLI? Aren't there a good number of games that limit to one GPU? Absolutely defiant. Um, you're absolutely correct. There's a good amount of games that do take advantage of the SLI, but there's a probably even bigger catalog of games that don't. Um, a lot of people that do SLI 
play a lot of the high-end mainstream games that are configured for SLI. Uh, they sh they game they game um, at higher resolutions, um, or they do editing, video editing, where GPU power comes into play, which does take advantage of both GPUs as well. Worldwide. If your voice sounds different, then how about Mr. Goat? I think it's because of the goat that my voice sounds different. I do too many, too much goat impersonations and it kills my throat. My throat is dead right now. What are the specs in your PC? My PC here or my PC at home? The PC here is 16 gigabytes. It's a 5960X, which is the 8-core. Um, it's two 980s. And it's on an Asus X99 Deluxe motherboard. And that's a 800, nope, a 1300 watt EVGA power supply. And it's got about three terabytes of storage. 1070 is fantastic at 1440p. Yep, even at 1440p, you're absolutely correct. What's your recommended entry level CPU? The 7700, actually, what's the, what's the i5 version, the 7600? Yeah, the i5-7600K. Awesome, awesome entry-level CPU. Actually, just the 7600. The K is only if you're going to overclock it. And as an entry-level CPU, I don't see you overclocking it. So just go with the 7600. I want the experience of building my own PC, but I want it from Origin PC. What should I do? You can't do both. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Unless you order an Origin PC and you get this super awesome professionally built computer and you're like, I want to build this my own and you can take it apart and then put it together yourself. I wouldn't recommend it though. Once you get it, you're going to be like, this is flawless. I don't want to touch it. But I always recommend people to build their own PCs if, if they want to try. It's an awesome experience. It's a lot of fun. After you've done quite a few though, you probably don't want to do anymore, which is why and when people come to us. Like, you know what? I, I, I have the money to get my own PC. I don't necessarily have the time or the patience to build one. So I'm going to order one from these pros. That's where, that's where we come in. By the way, my mind is blown. I'm watching at Origin PC on my Origin PC. Oh, my God. It's an Origin PC inception. What mini ITX GPU would you recommend? <clears throat> so depending on the... Depending on the case that you're using, um, a lot of the full-sized full size GPUs fit in many ITX form factors. But if it's one of those really, if it's one of those really small cases in a 1050, I, is the 1050 a small form factor? It is. Right? I'm not sure. I haven't worked with those. Me I first. think the 1050 and the 1050i are small form factors. Maybe even the 1060. I haven't seen one in a while. That's because we always, literally everything that passes in front of me is a 1080 Ti or a Titan XP. Yeah. <laughs> that's how, that's how high end we are. It's rare that I just like, what is this beautiful piece of hardware? That's a 1060. What? It's amazing. 1060 is a small form factor too. There you go. Thank you, Bucky. <clears throat> I have $800. Do you have a PC for that amount? We do not, unfortunately. You're not too far off, though. If you save up a bit more, I think you'll be good to go. Origin PC, while it is very true since it's nice to build it yourself, uh, but would rather have the extra warranty. You never know what can happen, and a company like you can give me just that. Absolutely legendary. You nailed it on the nose, my man. I had a crazy 27-inch HP, HP, HP PC back when I was 7, and it's left in the dust of my old apartment. Nah, really? There's still a there's still a PC sitting somewhere in a dusty old apartment. Get that. Scrap its parts. Gut it. I want to build a custom PC, but I don't know if I should. Buy the i5-7600 or the i5-7700K. What do you think? Totally depends on what you're doing. If you're just straight gaming, the 7600 will do just fine. Um, if you want to do a little bit more with your PC, the 7700 will be recommended. Again, the K, the only difference in the K and the non-K versions is the fact that the K lets you overclock it. So if you're not planning on overclocking, don't get a K version. 
It costs extra for nothing. Don't forget that Origin PC does have a financing option if you can shell out the cost up front. My 4900 laptop is only $80 a month. Nice, Chase, too. Thank you for bringing that up, dude. That's pretty neat. Um, you can, yeah, we have a financing option as well. There's also other options. You can get like PayPal credit and go through PayPal. Uh, pay, like the PayPal financing, you can do it directly through PayPal and then pay us through PayPal. And that works too. There's a lot of options. There's a, a large variety of payment options. You never have to just pay up front if it's something you can't afford. 10 out of 10 cable management. Hell yeah, it is. 10, 10. Wood 10 again. Do you know why my computer makes a small popping sound every 20 to 30 minutes? It sounds electrical, but I don't know what it could be. Computer's a year old. That is scary, Kyle. Is it one of ours? If it's one of ours, then give us a call. If not, then I'd be very, very careful, because that doesn't sound safe at all. Popping noises, electrical popping noises, are very, very not good. Very, very not good. But a 960M with 2 gigabytes of VRAM with 8 gigabytes of uh, DDR, DDR3 with a 4720 CPU run for Honor Ghost Recon Wildlands. It would. It wouldn't run it at the highest settings, but it would, yes. Would you rather get an HTC Vive or Oculus Rift? Serious question for once. Iron Lion. Iron Lion. Iron Lion. Iron Lion. I'm surprised to see a serious question come from you. You should have answered your own question in the question like you normally do. Um, but honestly, in my personal opinion, the HTC 5 is fantastic because it has a huge library of games. The Oculus Rift is fantastic if you have a, a smaller playing space. The HTC Vive does require a much larger room to play and use. Uh, the Rift, you can do it right in front of your PC in a small room. Um, but with the HTC Vive, you have a larger variety of games. So it's really what what um, works for you. I want to build a custom PC, but I don't know if I should buy the 7600 or the 7700K. I'd, like I said, I'd go for the 7600 if you're just gaming on it. Awesome. Thank you. No problem, dude. They're all absolutely right. The 7700K is the fastest. It does have the higher base clock. But it's all dependent on you. Um, you know, if it's if it's something... If it's going to hurt you to spend that extra money on the 7700K, then don't. Go for the 7600. You'll probably be fine with it. But, I mean, if you could shell out the extra, then do it. Always, always, if you can't afford it, just go for it. If you can afford it and you really, it's not going to hurt you one way or the other, then get the best, obviously. That's without question. I intend to modify my monitor, which is at 24 inches, 1920 by 1200, but not LED backlit. I want to modify it to be LED backlit. I think it's possible. What do you think? It sounds like a fun project. This PC looks amazing. Thanks, man. It's not even done yet. We still got another hour to go. Anything's possible if you have a roll of duct tape. <laughs> I'm not going to overclock. If you're not going to overclock, then go with the normal version. Or to see stupid question. I chose the 7700K and the 1080 Ti. Both were overclocked by you guys. It won't bottleneck while I'm gaming, will it? Not at all. It's going to run flawlessly. And that PC is going to last you for a long, long time, adrenaline. That 1080 Ti is going to, for for years, you're going to be able to game at the highest settings with that, with that card. That card is... So ahead of its time. It's crazy. Why did you guys go with the soft tubes instead of the hard line? Hard line looks way better in my opinion. Um, I agree. Um, this was at a request. Uh, usually it's just, you know, we change it up. Um, I, I can't tell you the, the biggest fault. The biggest fault, the biggest difficulty for hard line tubing comes when you have an issue with the system itself. Taking apart a hard line tubing compared to a soft tubing system the soft tubing system's a million times easier to do. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this was just to add a request. They wanted soft line, so we went with soft line. 
I bought your guys Asus ROG Swift 27 with the i7700K, 1080 Ti, and a bunch of other stuff. It comes here next Wednesday. So excited, dude. Awesome. That's a great monitor, too, intellectual. One of my favorite monitors. How long do you think it'll take for the 1080 to become outdated and not powerful enough for gaming? Man. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say close to seven years. Probably. Maybe not. Maybe five years. <laughs> Yeah, it's sitting behind me. I haven't opened it yet. I'm waiting for the PC to come. Do you ship to the UK? We sure do. How do you drain this system? Very carefully. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. Draining a system is never fun and it's never easy. Should I get two gig two 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 eight gigabyte RX four eighties or one GTX ten sixty six gigabyte? Um the the two RX four eighties would probably be better for you. Worldwide, baby! If this PC is going to have cryo cooling, do you need it? So, do you need today overclocking everywhere? <clears throat> I love this song. Ah, Helberg, sweet. Helberg is an awesome dude. We've had a few social media chats. Very nice guy. He's actually participated in one of these live builds before. Origin PC, could you explain a little about why sealed liquid cooling is and how it works maintenance-wise? So, sealed liquid cooling... Um, is like our Origin PC Frostbites, uh, something similar you might be more familiar with, like the Corsair H100i. Those, very, very efficient at cooling. Um, it's a radiator attached to two hoses attached to the CPU block. Uh, it's very, very simple to install, very easy to use. It keeps your system extremely cool, and it requires zero maintenance at all. Uh, these, every few months or so, you're probably going to want to have to put more liquid um, into the... the 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 reservoir because um, it does drain after a while it, it does i guess it evaporates that makes sense maybe it goes away eventually it's going to empty out by itself <laughs> so you're going to want to refill it every now and again maybe not every few months it might be like every six months or so would two gpus on one card be overkill what do you mean i'm not computer savvy so i had origin pc overclock mine for me yeah absolutely we do a pretty good job at it. I'll post pics on Twitter tomorrow. Sweet. Looking forward to it, man. Are you guys bots? Like me? No, I'm I'm a human. I'm a human being. So when this build is not using the sealed cooling, no, this is not sealed cooling. This is a custom loop. Could the Ryzen 5 1500X good for gaming and editing with the RX 470? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've tested a few of them. They're pretty good. The biggest, the biggest selling point on the AMD is their price, man. If you're looking for a really good budget PC, then definitely look at AMD. I have $70 in my account. Do you think I can get a PC with that? No. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm going to order a custom side panel with etching later. I didn't want it to delay shipping outside of the last minute. Ah, oh, bummer, intellectual. Oh, uh, we got, um, etching doesn't, doesn't delay it at all. It's very quick. Very quick. The etching is super easy. Custom paint takes a bit longer. Custom paint would definitely delay it a bit, but etching is very simple, very fast. So for someone getting into liquid cooling, would you recommend sealed versus custom? At first, especially if you're building it yourself and you don't have any experience with custom loops, absolutely, sealed is the way to go. Where's the honor vendor in Ugramar? 
Good question. You can probably find that on a quick Google search. We'll point the way. Oh, we got a lot of people that signed up to our giveaway. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. OriginPC.com slash giveaway. By the way, if you haven't signed up already, please do. Boot up gaming with the auto host, my man. This PC is going to have cryo cooling, but you don't have a glass of water. How is that? I do. It's just almost <laughs> empty again. <clears throat> TD, the, the 6700K has a bit of a higher clock speed. Um, but yeah, the main difference is the fact that you can overclock it. It does have a little higher base clock, I believe. It's not a huge difference. Probably not noticeable. Not too noticeable, anyways. Oh man, he's cutting cables. Oh, it's nerve wracking. T wings going in. Man, those those blocks look absolutely phenomenal. I love the look of those blocks. Again, big thanks to Swift Tech. Guys, check out Swift Tech sometime if you're doing liquid cooling. Fantastic. It's like a work of art. Drink some of the blue coolant? No. <laughs> Holy crap, this build is nuts. Yeah, it's absolutely mind blowing. Does this does Origin PC ship to Sweden? We sure do. Two tight nexus, you got it, dude. What speed of RAM would be good for a gaming PC? I've heard conflicting opinions on whether or not it matters, and I'm just overall confused on what to get. Um the sweet spot for me is like Depending, I mean, DDR4 and DDR3 are completely different. For DDR3, I had 1866. For uh, DDR4, I have 2400. I never like to go with the lowest, the lowest speed, but I never like to go the highest either. Sometimes it does cause issues, believe it or not. Especially when you're overclocking. Ah, oh, yes! Teamwork. Jeremy, thank you so much for the sub, my man. Five months in a row, five months of support for the kids. Can we get a hashtag? For the kids for Jeremy, please. Thank you so much for that, dude. So, yeah, like I said, I never like to go the highest. I never like to go the lowest. Ah, I'm yes, the middle CRR26, thank you so much for that, my man. Hashtag for the kids in chat. Subscribing with Twitch Prime. Very awesome. Guys, yeah, if you have Twitch Prime and you know you have Twitch Prime because you have the little crown next to your name, you get a free subscription every month. If you're not using it for anyone, you can use it for us and support the kids of St. Jude. Um, support an awesome, worthwhile charity. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and the money goes directly to them. So thank you so much for that again. Um, and if you don't know what Aunt Twitch or Twitch Prime is, if you have Amazon Prime and you link your Twitch account to your Amazon account, you automatically get Amazon Prime, which gives you a free subscription every month. Hi, Jeremy. How you doing, bud? Thank you again for that set. Hashtag for the kids. Ha ah, yes. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Bound, bound, bound. I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. There it is. Hardy har har. So Origin BC, do you only have one office or is there one in Irvine, Florida? Because I thought I saw Origin Building in Irvine. No. We own the only facility that we have is in Miami, Florida. And Australia. Can you repeat that again? Did I understand correctly? You sub once. I sub once for you, and then you can sub again for free. Now, if you have, if you have Amazon Prime, you could link it to your ah, account, yes, and it gives you Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Shaz. Much love. Hashtag for the kids in the chat. Um, you can you can 
link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. It gives you Twitch Prime, which gives you a free subscription every month. You can use that for us. If you're not using it for any other streamer, you can use it for Origin PC, and it goes to a good cause. What is your most horrifying experience involving a PC? Oh, man, there's, there's been a lot. When, you build, when you've built as many PCs as I have, or John, for example, you, you probably have quite a fair amount of horror stories. A lot of them probably have to do with leaking. Although, actually, I never, in all the liquid sealed, all the, all the liquid units that I built, I never had a leak. Knock on wood. I think yeah. this is wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. Um, I have drilled through a motherboard before, though. So that's always scary. I, I didn't drill through it, but I over-tightened it and it cracked it. This was like in my first week of working here, I think. Wait, that's Cool It, not Mountain Dew Arctic Blast? Yeah, correct. I've, uh, I've pushed a, an entire build off a desk when I was done with it by accident. What's up? I said I pushed an entire build off a desk one day when I was done with it. <laughs> so. <laughs> John said, I don't know if you heard him or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think they can hear you now. So you probably heard that. I thought that was just blood from the alien in Fifth Element. I was once so upset that while shutting down my very old P3 XP PC, I turned it off, broke the back on the PSU, and the HDD gone. Ooh. When I try to donate, I get this message, this fundraising event is disabled. To oh, okay, Jeremy. Um, so they're starting the new St. Jude Play Live. So the, the old, I guess the old, like, uh, campaign there we go. that's the word i'm saying about the old campaign ended it usually ends for a few weeks um they're over at saint jude right now doing the play live conference once that ends and the new the new campaign launches so um i think that's actually going to be probably available this weekend so if you want to come back and do that again in your spare time or you can always do it to in tomorrow's stream or do it on next friday stream if you're here guys again tomorrow we will be streaming our eon 15s live stream uh, we're going to be showing off our newest laptop, the Eon 15S. Uh, we're going to unbox it. We're going to benchmark it. We're going to game on it. We're going to do VR on it. I'm going to answer questions. I'm going to show it off. It's going to be a lot of fun. Join us. Be here. 3 p.m. EST. 428 is the date. So 428 is when it launches again. And 428 is also the Eat My Diction live build here on Origin PC's channel. We're going to be building him a VR... A VR ready Kronos, so a small form factor living room VR machine. Questions from Facebook. Ricardo from Facebook asks Is the i7 4770U strong enough for this year's games? Um, I would say yes. Absolutely. Still, still strong enough for this year's games. What would be a cause of my PC just rebooting itself when there are two RAM sticks in it? Both same frequency, and my motherboard does support them. Um, that could that could be a multiple multiple reasons. It could be an issue with your CPU. It could be an issue with your CPU overheating. Um, it could be an issue with your power supply. There's a lot of troubleshooting involved with that, Kyle. But I would look I would look to see what your temps are. That's probably the easiest way. Uh, see what your temps are. If your temps are getting a little high, you might be overheating. In which case, I'd reapply thermal fluid or thermal li thermal paste to uh, the CPU. Thank you for that, Salknar. I did. I didn't know. Real tools inside a real PC. Way to go, pro. Oh, that's right. Hey, but how many times did your mom drop you? More times than I'd care to mention on stream, without her getting child services called on her. Where does the origin logo derive from? Um, man, it's a great question. I don't know who designed it or who came up with the design. Obviously, we want the O for origin. I think it's a pretty neat logo, though. High-end X99 build for... What are your thoughts? Fantastic, dude. Uh, great for gaming. Great for gaming and content creation. No, I'm not going to say your name. <laughs> Nor will I call you daddy. Jerk. <laughs> the origin 
NPC channel. <clears throat> the logo still from Target. No! How dare you? We were here first. Nah, we weren't. I think it was around the same time. But uh, it's a very different logo, obviously. I mean, you can definitely see the similarities, but you can definitely see the differences too. What is the blue stuff? That is uh, what we're going to liquid cool the system with. That's coolant. Coolant. I'm running a 1050 Ti OC when streaming on Twitch and playing D3. I get weird j FPS drops after an hour. Any ideas? Uh, could be overheating burps. It could also be a memory leak. It could mean something's overheating, though. Which means it's throttling back. It could also mean that something's bottlenecking. Um, what CPU are you using? Should you ship a liquid cooled computer with liquid in the loop? In our case, yes, because we ship them in those crates. Um, if you're shipping it to like a friend, if you're doing a custom build and shipping it to a friend or something, I'd be very, very careful. I'd say don't do it unless you got a big wooden crate to protect it. Um, a lot, a lot of people do drain it before shipping it. Well, it was nice hanging around. I've got to get myself ready for my stream starting tonight and get prepared for a raid with Guild on the Wild. Take care, Koozie. Have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Make sure to follow Origin PC on all their social media. Follow myself and follow John over here as well. Thank you for hanging out, though. How long have you been at Origin? I've been at Origin... Three years. Three years now. Do you just sell high-end PC? Yes. Everything we sell is high-end. Newest generation, too. We do have an entry-level laptop we just released, though, that I would check out. The Eon 15S. I would definitely, definitely check that out. You can also sign up for the giveaway to try to win one at originpc.com slash giveaway. Um... Go there, sign up for the giveaway, and then you can go to the, uh, the 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 Eon 15s page and read more about the laptop itself. That optical drive, though, am I right? It's an ancient relic. Optical drives are a thing of the past, and I love seeing them. Have you guys ever had a bad radiator go in a case, or do you test them before? We test them before. Actually, b radiators being bad are very, very rare. I think I've only ever seen one from the God knows how many I've come across. What's the cheapest PC you've owned? Probably my first PC when I didn't even know. That the more you spent meant the better it was. <laughs> Your voice is out of sync with the video happened about a minute ago? Ooh. Is that happening to everyone? If, if it's not happening to everyone, it might be on your end. In which case, just refresh the page. It should fix it for you. Bro, why do you ignore me? You seem like my dad when he left me at Walmart. Oh, man. What a sad life. I don't mean to ignore you. Sometimes, like I, like I said, always tag at OriginPC so I see what you're saying in chat. If not, I miss it. It's only him. Well, in that case, just refresh the page, man. It should fix it for you. Hey, check this out. OriginPC equals outstanding rig, intelligently gaming inside, no matching PC. I think I have to work it out more. You, you you have something. I see where you're going with it, and I like it. You definitely need to work out the kinks, though. Has Origin PC ever worked with Razer for a custom build? We have. Um, we have worked with them in the past. We want to do something with them again. How much would a PC like the one you are building cost if I want to build it myself without liquid cooling without liquid cooling if you're going to build it yourself man
something like hmm, 4,500, 4,500 to 5,000. Each one of those Titan XPs is $1,500. Or is it 1,200? I could be mistaken. Maybe it's 1,200. Let's go with 1,500 just for the case though. So that's 3,000 just in between the two GPUs. The CPU retail is about 370. The motherboard's about 250. The RAM is 32 gigabytes, so you're looking at like another 400. The PSU's probably like 150. The hard drives, oh man, now yeah, it would probably like closer to 5,000. Like 5,100 maybe, 5,200. Do you guys go to CES or events like that? Yeah, we're at every single event. <coughs> this one is 6,000 MSRP from us. If I won the laptop in the giveaway, could I do storage upgrades and RAM upgrades on it? Sure, absolutely. We'd probably be able to do that for you. Cool. How are we doing over there, John? Good. A lot of little details, but we're going. <laughs> well, so we're putting the CPU block on right now. And then we're going to get the tubing in there. Start the loop. For the most part, the PC seems to be done. Now it's time for the, the fun part. <laughs> the liquid cool experience. Now I feel bad. I got 5k from you guys and I have one Titan and he has two Titan X's. Don't feel bad at all. Uh, what else did you get in your PC, Walker? I'm sure it's not the one the one ten eighty did not equate to five K. Giveaways for US only? Yes, that's correct. Only US only. Why is the tube coming out from the GPU right under the GPU pass through? He's not, he hasn't finished yet. We, we haven't done the full loop just yet. Would you trade your laptop for an Acer Predator 21X? No, I love my laptop. Do you need to replace the cooler liquid after a certain time? You need to refill it. You don't need to replace it. <coughs> Why do I have current leaks whenever I touch the metallic part of the case? Could it be the current, oh, current leaks? It could be a fault of the PSU. Yeah, it could be static that's just causing it. What about New York? Yes, New York counts. You're good. I want to build a PC with an i7-7700K, an Asus Z170, a deluxe motherboard, 16 gigabytes of HyperX 2400, Cooler Master 212 Evo, and a gigabyte. How much will it cost in dollars because I live in Israel? Hmm... <coughs> Man, just that, probably like 2000 bucks. Do you have worldwide shipping? We do. Worldwide. Worldwide. Uh, XX, definitely the 1080 Ti, bud. I'm EU. We ship worldwide. Worldwide. I live in Miami, but I'm 15. Can I still work at Origin PC? You can. You might be able to apply for an internship. If you had to pick one, pineapple or ketchup on pizza? Uh, 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 uh. Gross. Both those gross. Favorite meme? Oh, man, there's so many. I'm a meme master. 
See, when you when you do any amount of social media work, if you do social media work at a professional level, you become a, a master of memes, which I think I've reached that point. Yeah, just about. They say when you, DD Bleak, what was it? When you do 10,000 hours, if you do something for 10,000 hours, you master it. Is that is that a saying? Is that what you said yesterday? So I think I'm almost there. Meme Lord. No. A meme master wouldn't say wouldn't use the word meme lord. Those are for for meme piss ants. <laughs> XX ten eighty TI dude. Sorry if you didn't hear it last time. Definitely a ten eighty TI. Definitely. Definitely. Tom, uh, um, I answered that earlier. I'd say 2,000-ish Meme Master. Around around 2,000, because it all depends. It all depends, Tom. Uh, you got to think of... There's no, like, PSU. I don't think you put a PSU there. Unless you're going with just standard air cooling, you didn't put a cooling unit. So there might be there might be a little bit more that goes into it. Would it look good if you had an anime etching on your PC? Absolutely. People have done anime etchings. People have done anime paint jobs. That all looks pretty awesome. I run a dual monitor setup on 60 hertz. Second on 144 hertz. If I run games in full screen, I may get 144 FPS, but window to full screen, it's capped on 60. Any idea why? Uh, could be for multiple reasons. <clears throat> if it's a G Sync monitor, make sure that you have G Sync enabled on both window and full screen. Um, then you can do that through the NVIDIA, NVIDIA dashboard. Um, also, make sure that the game's not running in V Sync. V Sync caps everything at 60 FPS. So never ever have V-Sync running on your game if you have a really, really good monitor because you don't need it. Uh, what else could cause it? That should be it. Make sure that the game doesn't have any FPS caps inherent. What's up, my man? How you doing, T? And another one. Soldier. Bro. Don't worry, man. Gotta go, Koozie. Gonna eat some fire rock frita. Lucky you. I'm going to have some of that later tonight, maybe. Good seeing you, Nano. I thought your VSync capped everything at your monitor's refresh rate. So 60 FPS for 60 Hertz and 144 FPS for 144 Hertz. Uh, sometimes. That's more G-Sync because it's hardware-based. Uh, V-Sync, for the most part, Caps everything at 60 FPS, unless it de it really depends on the game. I've seen VSync done in so many different ways, um, but for the most part, I've seen like if I do VSync on, I have a 144 hertz monitor with G-Sync. If I put VSync on for, I think which was the one I tested it for. There's a few games I've tested it for, and it definitely caps it at 60. Hey, Origin PC from zero to America, how free are you tonight? <laughs> I have a friend whose dad works at Origin PC. Awesome, dude. Who's uh? Do you know the dad's name? I would love to embarrass him. I do have a 6700K, 4 gigahertz with Z170 MSI and dual DDR4 with the 1080. Had Origin PC. Awesome, dude. That's a fantastic build, Walker. Oof. That makes me happy. The cable management. Isn't it amazing? What's the highest end PC you've ever built? I was talking about it earlier. <coughs> I didn't build it by myself, but I definitely helped a lot. It was a PC about as tall as I am. Completely custom built PC. Fully liquid cooled. <coughs> 
something like six radiators, over 40 fans. Crazy amount of storage. Quad Titans. At the time, it was Titans that were the big the big card. Or was it Titan X's? I think it was when Titan X's first came out. The original Titan X's. So Quad Titan X's, a 5960X. Or no, it was Dual Xeons. It was crazy. It was the most expensive piece of hardware I've ever seen in my life. And it was beautiful. But it was such a pain in the ass to build. Do you equip your PCs with optical fiber network adapters? I mean, I would not go less than 100. It depends. We do offer the option. But for the most part, people just request uh, onboard onboard network, ne network cards. Which is actually pretty good nowadays. Where does the hamster wheel go? Right, right in between the two radiators. Nice mustache. He appreciates it. I do. <laughs> was that Swifty's build? No, Swifty's build we did la like two Fridays ago. It was just a laptop. Oh, the one I'm talking about? No, it wasn't Swifty's build. That was done before my time. This was a build for a customer. You better be fixing that pass through. <laughs> <laughs> so, Origin PC, how does your trade up program work? I thought I might be doing that in a year or so. The Evolve program? Um, you can call. I can't give you a full explanation to it. Uh, but essentially, from my understanding, let's say you purchased, purchased a 1080. When it first came out, right? You purchased a 1080. You did the Evolve program. You pay, I think it's a flat fee, a very small flat fee to get the Evolve program. Um, well, now the 1080 Ti was announced. We got the 1080 Ti's in stock. You would contact <coughs> uh, our support team and say, hey, I got the Evolve program. Um, I want to evolve my 1080s to 1080 Ti's. They would take your 1080s, they would find the average cost as it is, because it's obviously a used card, it's an older card. They would find the average costs on various websites collect collectively, get the average cost and credit you that to the purchase of a new 1080 Ti. So essentially you'd be getting, you'd be training in your old card, getting credit and getting the new card. Can you say what or who it was going to be used for? The PC itself, it was just for a customer. He was using it for his own personal rig. He was obviously uh, very well off and had a lot of money below. <laughs> he did live somewhere overseas too. It was crazy to ship that thing. Um, we haven't heard of, haven't heard from him since. I wonder how, how I wonder how that is. Uh, that depends on the card, Legendary Vigilante. It depends on the motherboard. What's the builder's name? His name's John. I want to get an i3-6100, 8GB of RAM, RX-550. I just want to play CSGO and Rocket League. So how well do you think I would do in those smaller, less power-hungry games? With that build, I think you'd do just fine, man. Just fine. They're both very good XX. AMD and Intel are both good. Um, it really comes down to the user at the end of the day. They both have their benefits. They're both fantastic in their own right. Um, they're, they're both beneficial for certain different unique things. Like there's certain things AMD excels at and certain things Intel excels at. I can tell you that a lot of our customers go with Intel. It was for a client in Saudi Arabia if I remember correctly. That's correct, Scott. Something like that. Ask John how much does he lift? He'll bench you twice. Do you build servers and mainframes? We do. Those Titan X ram in power 600 watt? That seems like a lot for a GPU, man. It's definitely not a 600 watt power usage. You can definitely run SLI anything with 850.
cost of that crazy PC, the one, the craziest one I built, it was close to close to like twenty five, thirty thousand dollars, man. Because it was a completely custom case. It was something that we had to buy metal for. We had to weld it together. We had to completely custom paint it. That was a big bulk of the cost. But then everything he added in and the amount of labor that went into it, the amount of liquid that is crazy. The thing had wheels. It was taller than I am. 5'8". Or 5'7". 5'8 on a good day. <laughs> Today is not a good day. Come at me, bro. Are you getting any royalties for your likeness being used in Ghost Simulator? No. I need to get my lawyers on that. If I ever built a PC, but I know the process pretty well, should I take the risk and build it myself or buy a PC with the computer components I want? Uh, Tom, it's always, it's, it's not as hard as you think it is at all. Uh, there's plenty of YouTube instructional videos to do it. It's a fun, fun process. Um, but something can go wrong. You know, you you always take that risk. That's a risk that you're, you're going to have to take if you want to do it yourself. But it is worthwhile. It is a lot of fun. It is a bit time consuming, especially if it's your first. Uh, some people like to skip all that and just buy it from a company. Um, some people also like the peace of mind that comes with the warranties. Comes with the, the customer support that we have. All that stuff. It really depends on your personal interests, what you prefer. How valuable is your time? How valuable is your peace of mind? That's what it comes down to. What's up, Boogie? We're building a custom liquid-cooled Genesis for my man MS Tech. If you had to buy a PC for your dad, what would you include? An instruction manual. You are short, bro. Yes, I am very short. I've been told this before. <laughs> no, man. You're hilarious, but I can't read anything that you're saying. There's a simulator that's in development to teach you how to build and install everything. It's pretty cool. Yes, we're well aware. Been in contact with their dev. He's an awesome, awesome dude. Really, really cool simulator game, too. My first name is Tomer. My last name is Zigden. Oh, sweet. I'll call you Tomer, then. Is that a vape? Where? Right here? I do have a vape. Is that what you're looking at? How did you see it? <laughs> Where are you guys based out of? Miami, Florida. John, someone says you're really cute. <laughs> I think it might be a dude. I'm also 5'7". There you go. Sweet. Gonna go back to some competitive Overwatch. I might drop back later to check on the build. Later, dude. Good seeing you, T. You're the first American who said my name right? Sweet. I'll be in Miami later this year. Awesome, man. I love it here. Born and raised in Miami. I want a PC built by the guy with the glorious mustache. He can do that. I'm 6'1". I'm 6'5". You guys are tall. You guys are all tall. You're giants. I'm going to apply to Origin PC again this year. Sweet! Yeah, I got class. I'll be back later as well. See ya, Walker. Good seeing you, bud. 5'10", 5'7". See? I'm not too bad. I'm like an average height. But what I lack in height, I, I have in personality. <laughs> I'm 6'9", no way. Ah, oh, yes, teamwork. You serious? That's, you're huge. Defiant, my man with the sub. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. Hashtag for the kids. You got any giveaways happening? We sure do, Boogie. OriginPC.com slash giveaway. You could sign up right now. Winners will get announced uh, next week. Friday the 28th. <clears throat> Actually, probably the 29th. Because the 28th at midnight is when the contest ends. I'm 7-1. Get out of town. Do you play basketball? 
Up on Tinder, I'm six foot. <laughs> Do you have any cases that only give off red light? No other colors, just red? Um, so you can actually switch we have something called uh, origin PC sentinel where you could switch the lighting to whatever color you want so if you want to make it an all red system it's perfectly doable eat my diction my man speak of the devil we were just talking about you and your live build next week how are you doing my brother guys that is eat my diction there in chat he is the man we will be building the PC for next Friday shoot him a follow he's way funnier than I am dashingly handsome individual and a pretty good gamer. So uh, shoot him a follow here on twitch.tv. Tune into his stream sometimes. Good to see you, Diction. Really excited to do the build with you, bud. Can you say my name, though? Owias? Owias? If someone makes an order, could they request some case stickers or badges? Uh, if you sent them to us... We'd really prefer you do it yourself, though, because you have. It's gonna be very hard for us to choose exactly which, how how it would look nice. Dear God, almost choked on my piece of rib meat. Bless up, bless up to you, brother. <laughs> this PC needs more radiator. <laughs> what other company would you work for than Origin PC? Uh, I I wouldn't. I guess maybe EA Origin, just so I can, <laughs> just so I can always say I've worked for Origin and still be in the gaming industry. Yeah, there you go, EA Origin. <laughs> I'll just always, I'll always be Origin. Try and read my name, DNM Gaming 1988 Backup. Oh. Domagoge. That's a weird name. Is that your real name? Kuz. But if I must and have no choice, I can put inside myself one optical fiber network adapter inside the PC without voiding the warranty, right? And RPCs, yes. So you can do any amount of upgrades to RPC without voiding the warranty. The only thing, the warranty wouldn't cover the new part you're putting in, but the warranty would still cover the PC as a whole. I meant you guys have Origin PC branded case badges, uh, not if you put them on. Oh, yes, we do. We do. For some systems. Actually, I don't know if we do anymore. It's a good question. I would have to I would have to double check that for you. We do have stickers. Which CPU you rec recommend if I upgraded to a 10? Which CPU would you recommend if I upgraded to a 1070? I'm going to assume you mean which CPU would I recommend? In which case, always go with the newest out there if you're going to upgrade. Might as well. So um, if you're doing like a, if you want to go with the i5 to the 7600, if you're doing i7 to 7700, this PC needs more power supply. <laughs> if I have a 550 watt PSU, would I be able to run a 1070 better yet a normal 1080? You should be okay. Depends on what else you have in the PC, but for the most part. Why soft tubing? It was per request. Does coolant taste like bleach? I don't know. I've never tried. <laughs> never tried. I'm from Croatia. It's a pretty common name here. How do you pronounce it? Can you just spell it out how it's pronounced? You're off with the pronunciation, but a good try. Let me try it again. Before you tell me how to pronounce it, let me try again. What's Diction's PC going to have? I think it's a 70, It's a small form factor. It's about the size of an Xbox. It's going to have a 1070, a 7700K, 16 gigabytes of RAM, so a bunch of storage. I think it's for his living room VR PC, if I'm not mistaken. He wanted something tiny to just put in his living room. It's also going to have a, a Wi-Fi card. Domagoy. Ah, close. Close. Is there a new CPU coming out soon? Not anything that I can talk about. Actually, you can... Look, here's the thing, man. When, uh... Regardless of whether or not I can talk about it, no matter what time... You are in. Know this. There's a new CPU coming out soon. 
There's always an ECPU coming out. It's either from AMD or Intel. Always. Just look at the timelines. Whatever you consider soon. If soon's like three, four, five months, it's always soon. Every every five to around every five months, there's an ECPU that comes out from either company. It's crazy. It's hard to keep up with. That's why you can never feel bad. Every, it always happens. Everyone's like, I just bought a new PC and there's already better parts that came out for it. Yeah, always. Always. Technology advances so fast in this world. It's, it's insane. What do you think about an i360-100 and a 1050Ti? That's pretty awesome, man. Not bad at all. I mean, it's a good, like... Smaller PC. Hell yeah, I can finally VR like a pro. That's right. Try to pronounce my surname. Baranovich. Did I get that right? There's a Bar Baranovic. Console gaming for life. <laughs> the Joe's a craftsman. That is correct. Where's Matt? I thought he was going to be on the stream. He was. He was here for the first hour and a half. Hour and a half or so. Would you say that a PC with an i5, 6600K, a 1060, and 16 gigabytes of RAM is good enough for gaming content creation? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's not the best, but it's definitely good enough. Can I request for you to put a gar car battery in my PC? I want extra battery life. Sure. If you can request it. You can request anything. RIP missed him. Sorry, man. It was a lot of fun. We are going to upload this to YouTube after. Um, we are also going to have it here as a VOD on Twitch, so you can always watch it again. Will Matt come back? I don't know. He said he might come back to chat chat with you guys. but Is the 4790K still relevant? Yeah, absolutely. I had a 4790K up until six months ago. And I didn't need to upgrade, but I did. And I upgraded to 6700K. And a month later, the 7700K came out. <laughs> it's my life. It's my life. Can I use oil on my computer for what? Be honest. If I buy a PC from you or buy the same components myself, what would cost more? Oh, us, 100%. We're not we're not trying to disguise that from you. You can always here's here's a, I always recommend people to do this. Okay? Um if you're considering cuz everyone always oh, you guys are overpriced. Oh, you guys charge so much more. It's it's ridiculous. Some people some of the things people say online it's like you're you're out of your mind. You can build I could build a computer for half that price. No, you can't. I guarantee you cannot build one of the computers we build for half the price. Not the exact same computer. So, here's the thing. Go to our website and configure a PC. Choose whatever parts you want. Go to PC Part Picker and spec out the same exact parts that you chose on our website. The same exact ones. Don't skimp, uh, don't skimp out. Don't go off-brand on the PSU. Don't go off-brand on the storage drives. Go with the exact same parts and you're gonna see the price difference is not that much more. It's going to it's gonna be more, but it's not as much more. It's definitely not double the price. 100% not double the price. Um, what, what do you get with that extra cost, you might ask yourself? You get the standard one-year warranty. You get to go to one company with the warranty. You're saving on a bunch of time. The part, the part, the, some of the money goes into the labor of building, overclocking, integrating, um, and benchmarking your PC. Um, and a bulk of that money goes into the 24-hour lifetime customer support that comes with the PC. Along with all the additional added value that you get from our monthly promotions, the added value that you get from the shipping, um, the stuff that comes with the system itself, like the shirt, the USB drives, all, all the sorts of extra knickknacks that we throw in there for you. But you also get that 24-hour lifetime support, 24-hour lifetime customer support that comes with every one of the PCs. You get that warranty, so you're, you're paying for security and you're paying for time when you pay that extra money. Think of it that way. Do you have Lyrics Gaming PC built too? Yeah, we built Lyrics Gaming and Streaming PC. 
It's like Bane's mask in there, right? <laughs> yeah, PC's gorgeous. Do you guys have an employee discount? We sure do. Where does the pump go? The pump is in the reservoir. That's right up there. You can move the camera up a bit if you want to see it. Show them where the pumps are. The pumps are right up top. Actually, it is kind of dark, so you wouldn't be able to see. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Look at that. Those are the two pumps right there. Those are the two pumps that he's pointing at. And that's the reservoir. So liquid goes in there, and those pumps are in there as well. I could find cheaper parts from Craigslist. You can. But then again, you're buying from Craigslist. <laughs> so take take that as you will. I have a 500 watt or 550 watt PSU, and I want to upgrade to an i7 and at least 8, if not 16 gigabytes of RAM in the future to a 980. Is my PSU enough? You're cutting it close. It might be enough, but you're cutting it close. I'm in the porn industry, and I tend to do all the editing for adult entertainment, and I want to be rendering 4K quality. Can we speak later? I can promote you guys in the video. Absolutely. 100% down with it. Are you an interior decorator? Because when I saw you, the entire room became beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Those are small reservoirs. Yes. They are pretty... They're, they're efficient. They're efficient and small. We've tested all sorts of reses. We've tested those internal ones that you see like every other system builder uses those big like tube internal reservoirs. They look cool, but are they efficient? Not as efficient as these. <laughs> that username. I know, right? I know, right? I can't even say it. I can't even <laughs> say it on stream. I want to say, say his name so bad. I'm just going to call you Eatsies. Munchies. That's going to be your nickname. Pornhub sponsor incoming. What tools is he using? He's using a craftsman. Whoa. That tool is a tube cutter. Just a standard yeah. tube cutter. If someone said you were using a wrench, are you using a wrench? No. No? <laughs> Where do you see a wrench? Cable management. Such amaze, much wow. I love your name. Just say ZZZ instead. Tell him if he can show the cable management again. Absolutely. Definitely give that another whirl. Look at that beautiful job. And that thing, when the, the, when the case panel goes back on there, it's completely flat. It's amazing. Would you rather have a Mac or a PC that's $25? I guess a Mac because I've never owned a Mac before. So I would only pay $25 for one at most. So I guess I'd go with a Mac. Would a Sprite bottle work as an internal reservoir? Uh, uh, it might warp because of the heat. That plastic. Four rads? Is it four radiators? Um, three 360s and a 120. Yeah, so three 360 millimeter radiators and one 120 millimeter. Yeah, this, this is an insane insane loop that he's putting together it's awesome how do you get those dual bumps tool dual, dual pumps um do we custom order those john or do they come that way i'm not sure if they're custom ordered i don't know yeah I'm pretty they, sure they come that way but you have to order the other pump yeah so those that pump. i know for a fact that res just comes with one pump and we order the second pump and put it in there Hi to you, LeBron. John should have a mic also. I think he does. I don't know if it's on. Can you hear me? Check, check. Can anybody hear me? He does. The thing is, this mic, so when I test it off stream and I test it on my test stream, for some reason sounds absolutely perfect. Whenever I go live on here, everyone says, everyone starts yelling echo. When I'm watching it on the test stream, though, works perfectly normal. It's the weirdest thing. My PC build, which has 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 6600K OC to 4.1 Windows 10 Pro, 1060 randomly freezes. Sometimes browsing slow. This would be a hardware issue only. I just want my 1200 build. So let me read this again. My PC build, which is 16 gigabytes of RAM. <clears throat> Adrenaline, I will get to that question shortly. 
Um, my PC build, which has 16 gigabytes of RAM, 6600K OC to 4.1. Windows 10 Pro and a 1060 gets random freezes. Click on something in the background, goes white while nothing responds. Um, it could be, it could be an overclocking issue, Slice. You, it, it sounds like it. When you get random freezes and you have something overclocked, 9 out of 10 times it's because of the overclock. I'd either drop down the overclock a bit or mess with the voltages a bit more until you get it just right. So the poster that we have, it's, it's, it's a monster. It's a monster towering over a bunch of dead aliens. And he's got a, an origin symbol similar to this hat imprinted on his forehead. And he's towering over a bunch of dead aliens. I'll let you I'll let you put two and two together there, okay? You, you guys are smart enough to figure that out. That's what our poster is. Where's PJ? I miss him. PJ's free. PJ is free. PJ's just moved on to bigger and better things, man. He's a big man on campus here now. That shade. <laughs> Would you guys make a three screen gaming phone? Hell yeah, that sounds amazing. That sounds incredible. Did you guys fire PJ? Not at all. He's still here. He's one of their managers. One of our one of our managers now. Um, John did use something like a wrench under the GPUs a minute ago. Hmm. Ply well, oh, pliers. pliers. Maybe pliers. I get it now. There you go, adrenaline. <laughs> Flat baby. What's going on, my brother? What have I missed? Most of the build Stone Mountain. Another Stone Mountain. Are you a fan of the Stone Mountain? Is that where your name comes from? Where are the intake fans? Uh, where are the intake fans, John? The intake fans are not in here. There is no intake. This is just pooling all the air out. Oh, okay. Up. Yep. Cool. So no We're intake. We have the air being way. forced out this way and the air being forced out the back. And what the bottom ones are they intake? Uh, no, the bottom ones are actually pulling air out. Too. Okay, cool. Uh, we tried different setups with intaking to the bottom and up, and this actually um, uh, dissipated the most heat. So this is the way we went. So if if in case you didn't hear, um, we've tested all sorts of configurations, especially for reviews. Um, for this for this particular configuration, what has worked best is everything exhausting, pulling air out of the computer itself. We've gotten the best temperatures. You guys should sponsor Seagull Overwatch stream. I'll well, check him out. Miss you, Kuzi. Miss you too, Flat Baby. I should be back on my own stream soon, man. I'm really... My community, I know you guys are all in here, man. And I know I've told you a million times on my Discord. I sincerely apologize that I haven't been streaming lately. You guys know very well what has happened in my, my personal life. And I thank you all. For your concern and appreciation i promise you i will be back hopefully sooner than later um but as always just follow me and you guys will know when when that'll happen i love you guys thank you so much for sticking with me this whole time i just really like the name koozie thanks man i like your name too koozie since no one is watching and it's just me and you here i'll give you twenty dollars for your origin backpack you don't want my origin backpack. That's how you get massive amounts of dust in the case. By exhausting? Where would the dust come in from? If all the air is blowing out. I'm so confused. I guess through the other holes? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. I can tell you one thing from experience of owning multiple PCs in all sorts of different configurations. You're going to get massive amounts of dust in your PC no matter what. <laughs> A 
Leak Inc. No, don't, don't jinx us. I have a gigabyte, 1066 gigabyte. Do you think I can edit videos in 1440p and 4K product reviews? Uh, yeah, as long as you're not using the GPU to do the, the bulk of the horse, the horsepower. Just make it a. What's your CPU look like? No, and like uh, so, Eatsies. <laughs> so I'm gonna call you. Um, John is part of our technical marketing team. I'll tell you a little bit about it, what our technical marketing team does. Our technical marketing team not only builds systems for uh, sponsorships and these live builds, they also build the systems for reviews. Um, what they do in their little closet of crazy tinkering, they test multiple configurations. So with they test a bunch of different fan orientations with four radiators, since we're using four radiators in this. They've tested the intake. They've tested all intake. They've tested intake and outtake. They've tested different fans intaking, other fans outtaking. Um, what performs best under load when it's overclocked? What gets the best temperatures is the current configuration. That's what they always go with. They'll test. They test and test again. Every time there's a new piece of hardware that comes out, no matter what it is, they'll do all their tests all over again. So for this particular CPU, and the particular overclock that they're planning on doing, this is the particular fan orientation they decided to go with. PCs are dust magnets. That's the truth. Then that was brand. I was hoping I would see Nipix of Proxon. Uh, I'm not too sure what the brand is. Probably neither of those though. I have an i7-7700K. Tomarat's an awesome, awesome CPU. Um, I would definitely go with that for your bulk of your editing. So no intakes. Uh, you don't think it would overboost and blow the block? No. Like I, like I just explained. I recommend the 2JZ stroker swap on a single turbo. You're speaking gibberish to me right now. What a crap remix of Alone. This is, uh, this is on Monster Cat. This is... Uh, the Discord remix. And Discord with a K. What are the specs, Kuzi? Fantastic question! Hold on. Specs. Specs of the PC! Uh, you can always type exclamation point specs in chat as well and see it there. But I'll, I'll tell them again because we haven't done it in a while. The PSU in this bad boy is 850 watt EVGA Supernova G3. This is our Origin PC Genesis, our full tower. Asus Maximus 9 Hero motherboard. Intel Core i7-7700K dual 12 gigabyte NVIDIA Titan Nexus. XP's. Uh, Origin cryo cooling on both the CPU and the GPU. 32 gigabytes of HyperX RAM. 250 gigabytes Samsung 960 Evo NVMe N.2 SSD. 6 terabyte Western Digital hard drive. Windows 10 Home, etc., etc. Also, guys, do not forget to sign up to our giveaway. OriginPC.com/giveaway. You can sign up right now for our new Eon 15s. Our newly released laptop just came out on Monday. Thank you guys for all the hype you guys have been giving this laptop, by the way. It's the, uh, the outpour of support and enthusiasm from the community has been insane. Why HyperX? Uh, we, we prefer HyperX. HyperX, again, has just proven to be a fantastic, fantastic piece of uh, uh, RAM for us from all our tests. Um, also, they make custom-branded Origin PC RAM. Which you can't see now because it's inside the case, but it looks pretty cool. It's all black and it has our logo in red on the side. Was that a cover for Marshmallow Alone? It was. It was, correct. Thank you, Koozie. No problem, man. Uh, do you think if I buy a GTX 1080 Ti, will it fit with my 4790K? Yeah, absolutely. Is the giveaway only US? It is, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that, guys. G Skill's pretty strong, too. G Skill's fantastic. We actually just started offering G Skill on our website. So now you have a choice between HyperX and G Skill. 
The HyperX ones obviously come branded G skills don't. But G skill is really good. How can you know when you're sh when I'm streaming when you're not subscribed? If you're talking about my own channel, just follow me twitch.tv slash kuziel. If you're talking about this channel, just follow the channel. Um, you can always choose to get notified when we go live. I think you can do that through Twitch's settings under notifications. You choose which channels you get notified by. You can get notified via email. Um, they could send you a text. They can notify you on the Twitch app on your phone. You can get desktop notifications now, I think. Twitch is getting crazy, y'all. Oh, I love Clev Memory. I have Clev Memory at home, Elaine. It's beautiful. Tell Hector from sales. Come say hi to me in person. He was awesome. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good guy. He's a good friend of mine, too. Outside of work. He's a cool dude. Will there be a live demo or benchmark? Not of this PC. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to be streaming and benchmarking um, our new Eon 15S. So tune in tomorrow. We're going to unbox it, stream it, do all sorts of cool stuff. For this PC, it's going to MS Tech. MS Tech is going to make a video where he's going to benchmark it and test and do all sorts of crazy stuff. He's going to do multiple videos based off this, off this desktop. So we're pretty excited to see what he comes up with. Are those quick release plugs on the loop? I believe they are. Are they quick release, John? Pop. There it goes. Imagine that with f full liquid cooling inside. What a mess that would be. <laughs> now nah, it would be a mess. Super easy to disconnect. My iPhone SE got a better benchmark score than my potato laptop. Jeez, are you serious? MS Tech is not building this. This PC is going to MS Tech. He was in chat earlier chatting with us over Discord. Super excited to try this bad boy out. What games will we be playing tomorrow on the Eon 15? Uh, I'm going to be playing... There's a few that are maybes. And there's two that are definitely. We're definitely going to play Witcher 3. We're definitely going to play Albion Online. We're maybe... Maybe going to play Ghost Recon Wildlands. We're maybe going to play Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And we're definitely doing VR. Whatever VR games I get installed tomorrow. Probably going to do Job Simulator. Maybe I'll try to do that Rick and Morty game that just came out today. The Rick and Morty VR game. Um, that'd be awesome. Got to see if we can get that installed though on time. Uh, but we're definitely going to do some VR. And we're definitely doing uh, Witcher 3 and Albion. And the other games are if we have time and... We'll see how the stream's going, if there's a lot of people in here watching, etc. We'll see how it goes. Have you ever used Tinder? Absolutely. I have no time for regular dating. <laughs> Tinder is the only way I meet girls. 100%. Without Tinder, I don't know where I'd be. It was, it was brilliant. What would you guys think of this? Fellow nerds. This is something that's been discussed in other streams before. And please don't steal my idea, all right? I'm telling you right now, it's copywritten. I've got a patent on this. It's an app called Nerd Herder, and it's Tinder for gamers. Huh? It's called Nerd Herder. Huh? What's <laughs> up? Time to fill this puppy up. If you're playing Witcher 3 and that's good enough, she'll be using it for a while. So if it plays Witcher, oh, Adrenaline, I can tell you right now, it will 100% run WoW. Um, tell her to go with like the i5 or the i7, and she'll be good. Best idea ever, right? If you want something better than Tinder, use Anime Tinder. Oh, God. That sounds dangerous. Oh, because the gender imbalance on Tinder wasn't dramatic enough. I know, right? Truth. Truth. I would rate this app 5.5. Five. Why no 1080 Ti's? Titan XP's are better. More powerful. Going with power. Although, to be honest, the build that that Matt ends up getting might be 1080 Ti's. You sure this will run Minesweeper? It might not. <laughs> Elaine. Elaine, that's like my favorite GIF ever. I, lo I use that GIF for everything. Fantastic. Oh, 
of the time. <laughs> we only got 10 minutes. We could just be like, oh, we don't have time to fill it up, guys. What's up? Yeah, for sure. Can you buy PC parts alone? Not from us. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now. This is a quick disclaimer, guys. We're going to fill this up. As anyone that builds any sort of systems knows, there could be a leak. There might be a leak. Who knows? If there is, we unfortunately do not have time to fix it. <laughs> Since it's almost, it's almost time for us to leave the office. But... If this works flawlessly, which it, it just might, because John's fucking just pro. He's a pro. We're going to see what <laughs> happens now. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> this is this is, this is is crunch time right here, boys and girls. Time to get the paper towels. They're there. They're ready. Oh, yeah, I can hear. I can hear my heart. Can you guys hear my heart? Can you hear it? Is, it? is it loud enough? I don't think it's loud enough. Are you going to power the PC this stream or not? Because I know it takes like two days to finish the flow test or whatever. Yeah. We're probably going to power it on just to get the pumps going. But it's not going to stay on. It's looking good. Is it bad that I haven't cleared the dust out of my PC in a year? Yeah. Might be bad. Get ready to clip the VOD. Please don't. No clips allowed. Can I turn off clipping? Tom says you're lying that the top fans are intake. They are? <laughs> We've made a huge mistake. <laughs> it seems that all three top fans are intake. So, back to what I was saying before. <laughs> Intake, exhaust, exhaust. My bad, boys. We got, we got bigger things to worry about anyways. That color liquid does look fucking, look fucking awesome, dude. Really awesome. Oh, I'm sweating. It could be these lights beaming in my face. But for the most part, I'm just very, very nervous. What case is that? This is our own Origin PC Genesis. Does it matter that my cable management sucks for my first build ever? Not at all. Cable management's the hardest thing to master. As long as it runs. A thousand watt PSU or 850 watt for GTX 1080 Ti, 4790K, 30. Uh, 850 is just fine, Jeff. Front in, top, and back out? Yes. No. Top, top in, back, and bottom out. Kuzi, does Origin PC come with proper cleaning instructions or a guide? I'm new to PC, now I'm worried. No, it doesn't. We don't have instructions or a guide, but if you're ever curious about how to do it or you're worried about messing it up, you can always call our 24-hour support line, man. That's what we're there for. Any sort of PC questions you have, as long as you own an Origin PC, take advantage of the support line. How much do you think I should clean my PC? I, cl I clean mine out once every six months. How are we looking? No drifts yet. Oh God. Man, it looks beautiful. I love, I love when the liquid starts going into the, the GPU blocks. Oh, it's on. It's going to yell now. It's going to make a screeching noise when the pumps start to kick in. Squaaaaa. Oh, oh, pumps are, pumps are kicking in, boys and girls. Look at that. Oh. Oh, colored coolant clogs the blocks on the long run? Not necessarily. It depends on the type of coolant you use. Um, a lot of times a thicker, thicker coolant that's not clear has more of a chance of doing that. But if you have really, really high quality coolant, you're in pretty good shape. Boys and girls, yeah, man. 
There are definitely girls in here. I know I know most of them. It looks beautiful. There there it is. It looks like it's completely flowing right now. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. If it leaks, does it mess up components? No, not necessarily. There's a good chance it would. But Coolin is pretty good with that. I'm a guy in real life now. <laughs> what are the specs? Type exclamation point specs. Exclamation point specs in chat and you'll see it. Nice loop. It worked. Victory is ours. Ooh wee! It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Is the coolant UV reactive? This one is, I think. Is it? Maybe. We have. We do have UV lights in our case, so we will find out. <laughs> yeah. True. It's two different coolants. Well, same coolant, but two different colors. Nice. It is done and it is on. You got to set up the lighting, which is why you don't see the lighting right now. But there it is. It worked flawlessly. We're in good shape. <laughs> we did it. While John's putting all these panels on, let's go over one last time. Guys, check out our promo, OriginPC.com. You can check it out right at the top. Here's some of the deets right here. Don't forget about our new Eon 15S launch. Just came out. Tomorrow we'll be streaming at 3 p.m. EST. Make sure to join us here on Twitch.tv slash OriginPC and live on Facebook as well. We're going to unbox it, benchmark it, play some games on it, have a load of fun in chat. Join us. Um, if you want to sign up for our giveaway, originpc.com slash giveaway, you get a chance of winning the Eon 15S that we will be showing on, showing off tomorrow. Uh, please sign up for it. It's super easy. You just have to follow a few of our so social channels and retweet something. Watch the video. It's all sorts of fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. The PC is finished. Uh, Matt, if you're still out there, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not. But if you are, thank you for joining us here in chat. This is it, ladies and gents. This PC is going to look a lot different in Matt's video. Um, it's going to be custom painted and everything. It's going to be pretty neat, but it looks pretty badass as is. I got to say, I wish I was taking this home with me right now. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, it's beautiful. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure to follow Origin PC on all their social media. It's at Origin PC on everything. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitch, everything. Follow myself. I'm at Kuziel on Twitter and Twitch. I'm joined here by my man, John. That is John Tifford on Instagram, J-O-N-T-I-F-F-O-R-D. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for tuning in. Have a fantastic evening. Take care of yourself and take care of the ones you love. Adios, amigos.
Shake. 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 Shake.